cookie cutters, God gave you a nose to breathe with so you can keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. Take a seat. After a, what, a one week hiatus from being banned by the fucking PC pussies of SoundCloud, I, whatever the fuck we got banned on. From the ashes <laughs> rises the. <this. laughs> That's it. <laughs> what do you think about that, Leonard? Yeah, I always fight uh, censorship. That's a communist tactic, a censorship. And they like to rewrite the history book well. Well, I think we did violate a whole bunch of their terms of service. Just about every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I never that, even read them. When I, I never did either. I created I the freaking account. Just, yeah. Yeah. I thought we could say or do whatever. Oh, the there are terms want. of yeah. service? Yeah. Unbelievable. I didn't know that. It's sh- it's internet fucking radio, basically. Why why can't you say whatever? It's so stupid. Well, you know, it was it had to have been somebody reporting it. And we kind of know. Who, yeah. Have an idea of who. It had to have been, well, I don't know. I can't say it had to have been. It could have been a number of people, actually. <laughs> Who do you think it was, Leonard? I think it was that Callie Muscle. One of Chuck Callie Basher. Muscle's. Yeah, I want to cut Chuck Basher's goons. Maybe his girl heard what we said. The low IQ ilk. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's all right. If We're plan back. A fails, you got plan B, right. C, D, E, F. You got the whole 20, 25 extra letters. I don't think we're going F-A-A. anywhere on this on this website. No. And by the way, I do want to give a huge thank you. He asked me not to say his name, so I'm not going to, but um, <clears throat> the guy who built DelrayMisfitsPodcast.com, he lives in England, and he shot me a message on Facebook after we got taken off SoundCloud asking me if he wanted us to build a website. And I was like, sure. And 10 minutes later, he had it up. We were messaging each other all day. I was at work. It's Just like great. that. It got, got done in one day. And um, I put all the old episodes in Dropbox, and he uploaded them from there to the new podcast website. So I'm not going to say your name, but over there in the UK, thank you very much. You know who you are, and uh, your T-shirts will be sent to you later this week that you ordered. See, that's awesome that somebody will do that and not want to take credit or get a shout-out right. or any that bullshit. Because... A lot of great maniacs in the UK. A lot of, we got a lot of smart yeah. people following us. Thank and God. I'd like to shout out Dave Crossland. I looked at all your videos on my break at work during the weekend. Who Who's that? that? Who, never heard of her. Oh, he's big. He's uh, very knowledgeable on this science of bodybuilding. What's his name again? Dave Crossland. Dave Crossland. I learned a lot. He has it. his own channel? Yeah. Huh. Monster. Interesting. Yes. I don't have time watching that shit. I learned a lot. Yeah. How much, how did you enjoy being on uh, Iron Debates with Boston Lloyd and... Uh, Valentino. Yeah. What's the other guy? Romano? Yeah. yeah. Very, Romano. very entertaining. I hope to do another one soon. Yeah, those guys were good. Valentino talked a little bit too much. He, well, he's a fucking Guinea New Yorker. <laughs> what do you expect? I was, sta- I was standing next to Lenny during most of that, and at one point... I said to Lenny, I said, start cutting them off. Start speaking because they're, they were hogging up most of the time. And I was encouraging Lenny off camera to speak more and just cut those assholes off because they wouldn't give him much time to speak. But Lenny, it was your first time on. So I understand you didn't. You know, you yeah, it's gonna... basically a learning experience. Yeah. It's kind of a tough format to have a conversation with people over the computer on Skype like that. I don't know. I'd rather have somebody in person. You know, it, it's even a pain in the ass to call somebody. I enjoyed it. And I know I talked to Andrew Kalora on the weekend who's going to come down. <laughs> here next month yes he liked the story about Dorian Yates in the nightclub very funny with the mesh (laughs) t-shirts putting his hands up in the air with confetti falls on him oh yeah that was fucking funny great story couldn't imagine Dorian doing but hey that's what happens when you get all drugged up (laughs) apparently so we're sitting here right now it is uh it's 8 11 we're expecting our guest of honor to arrive around 8 15 hopefully within the next five minutes you all might effectual affectionately refer to him as koth harper koth he should be here within the next five minutes. Set I, this I, up. I hate that we say Koth. That's so fucking dumb. When you, you hear yourself say it, you feel like such a jerk. Who started dumb. saying it? Koth. Who do you think? The fucking... Albert dis- Einstein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dyslex- <laughs> dys- dyslexic monkey prick. Yeah, it was Copernicus who first said Koth. <laughs> Benjamin Franklin. And um, so Adam Harper, I know everyone's been waiting for him to be on with us uh, basically ever since we started up this podcast. He should be here any minute. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'm sure we have a lot to talk about. And um, Leonard wants some uh, CrossFit tips, how to flip a tire. Lenny's got a plate in front of him that has three slices of pizza. One now. One sitting on top of the other. Well, yeah, now it's one you and a just, half. You should just eat it like a fucking sandwich. Yeah. Courtesy of Big Brad Wolf, I'd like to thank you for that meal. You're welcome. Anybody that gives you a meal, that's it. Someone that really cares about you. <laughs> Did you eat all the leftovers from the Super Bowl? Oh, the best wings I ever had. Yeah, delicious. Those meatballs were good, too. Yeah, man. I cook. That's right. 
You're a multifaceted man, Brad. Faceted? You can do it all. Uh, if I could do it all, I wouldn't be a fucking mailman. <laughs> it's like that. <clears throat> that's one of those funny, t- funny scenes in Rocky where he's like, she's like, why are you a fighter? He's like, because I can't sing or dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait. I hear a truck outside the house. Does that's he drive a big? Yeah. Does he drive Hold on. a, Let me a little small in. man complex? Cookie cutter truck. <laughs> Maybe it put you in the bed of it. You could roll, drive around, and play fucking mailbox baseball. Yeah, I'll go up the Dixie Highway in it. See how many trannies you could fit in the bed of the truck. It's been a while, but Adam Harper. Adam Harper and no shit, Lord. Thank God. We'll get into that. Yeah, we'll address the the bullshit, the constant yeah. bullshit. You enjoying Adam pizza, said, Leonard? Is it okay if I park right there? <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> park, park down the street. Yeah. <laughs> cool, he said. Cook it there. Cool. What's going on? Hey, Adam. Good to see you again. All right. You too, man. Here, Fuck it. Guest right of here. Cool. <laughs> We're already rolling. There's your mic. Your sound is up. Oh, wow. Cool. Li- live. Sorry for being late. What's Not up, live, man? but we're right. Just we're hold recording. the mic just like this. Okay. Speak and you'll be good. Cool. So everyone's been asking me to get you on here for like three months, and we finally got you. I know. I apologize. I feel off every time you ask me. I'm like, ah, I'm actually gone, or I'm doing something. But I made sure. Uh, I talked to Lenny the other day. I was like, I'm, I'm going to do it as soon as I get a first availability. Appreciate you guys working around my schedule. No, man. Yeah, man. We were supposed to do it when Lenny was put in the hospital. Right, yeah. Well, and I was, that was, that was, day, that was the day the day before. Right. Everything good with you, bud? Yeah. And turned back into a freak. There we <laughs> go. <laughs> Sickening. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the one that started those terms no, out. No, no. Started what? Sickening and pissing. No, no, hell no. Uh, no, that was long before me. <laughs> I don't know. I would like to know when that originated. Jason probably originated, I'm yes. sure. Right. Never heard of her. <laughs> Is he not Actually, coming? I have heard of her, but <laughs> <laughs> Is he not coming? No. Does he No, Jason, um, um, I don't know if you, I don't know if you probably don't follow this shit anymore, and if you don't, you're smart. <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been on the loop a little bit. We, Brad and I, a couple years ago, mm-hmm. started up a, a t-shirt apparel website because Jason just browbeated us to death to start one for him right. after that mishap with the fan where he started another t-shirt company. Okay, so. Finally, we started it up for him. Um, long story short, uh, Jason uploaded a video to YouTube about a week ago, basically making some what I thought were horrendous false accusations about me and Brad, how we stole this from him, we stole that from him. Same old um, story then, basically. And, uh, right. <laughs> and he is now disassociating himself from the Delray Misfits oh, for wow. a number of reasons, because we're too vulgar and he doesn't like what we do, and we use his image without his consent, a whole bunch of, of bullshit. We're, we're too vulgar, but I know, right? he's Jay- the one that jerks so for minors on the yeah. f- on, on live feed or whatever guys video. wives wow. pussies yeah i mean i can't put that past or, him he also calls his own mother a cunt in right. videos <laughs> yeah. Yeah. talk trash well, about me but yes, we're the later. vulgar ones yeah. yeah that's too bad it's so, disappointing uh, it, well, and he said that we banned him from everything and oh, he's man. telling everybody that we banned him from the delray misfits and that's not true he chose to leave and we've gladly obliged wow, you know, yeah we, he'll be back i mean he always he he always finds a way to get back in everyone's lives well, is he back on his blackstone yeah. iron L- 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 back yet or no? Back on the Blackstone tip, back of course. Yeah. yeah. Is he? Yeah. So, yeah. He, he always finds a way to. He's got a talking. soft spot for him. He Who does. the fuck knows why? But. <laughs> we made we made two mistakes when we started up that t-shirt company for him. Mistake number one. No contract. <laughs> even Jason said it. Jason himself said it. He's wow. like there was no contract because the way I look at it, we needed a contract not to protect him from us, from but to protect to protect ourselves from him. Right. Because he's now going around telling everybody because we have eyes and ears everywhere we anytime he's talking shit about us we know it they didn't pay us they pay me practically nothing well, Which, did, the, did the company do well, or is there any money to pay? It was all right. Yeah, but we we split it with them. I believe we, that. we no, gave. I him, believe that. We gave I, my I, right. I no doubt. I always made sure whenever I give Jason money, it was in front of Andrew yeah. or Lenny. Lenny seen too. Which leads me to the second mistake we made. Anytime we did give Jason a wad of cash, I record. which I was there for, right. bingo. I know. I we know. didn't have him sign a receipt. <laughs> Jeez. We didn't videotape it. Right. There's no record of the cash transaction. Because now he'll lie and say he didn't give him anything. Exactly of course. Right. Is that what he's saying too? Of course. He's saying you guys didn't give him anything? Or no, he said not much. not much. They didn't give me very much. Oh. And I heard this firsthand. Now, yeah. I'm not going to yeah. say how I heard it, but I heard it. Yeah. With my own ears. 
He's a dirt bag. Jason being Jason. I he mean, just yeah, burns bridges. He does. He, I tried to give him my heart and soul, but he just... Adam, I'm curious. Yeah. How did you get involved with Jason in the beginning? <laughs> uh, Publix. Probably everyone's the same story, right? They met Jason <laughs> at the line, the line in Publix. He asked if I worked out and you know started going off on a tangent I thought about it was bodybuilders. PJ. No, no. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah. I, I, gave, I was a fool and gave all my number to him. <laughs> I know. Done. <laughs> That's the kiss of death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That night he texts me, hey, man, can I come work for your boot camp? I'm like, oh, Jesus, here we go. I'm like, no, but I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll let you come work out for free, you know? So, yeah, that's kind of how it started. That's the magic word, free. Yeah. <laughs> If it's free, it's, it's for me. That's Jason That's for it. you. Yeah, I, I definitely. How did he do in a boot camp? Did he oh keep up? God. Actually, he gave it his all. But, I mean, you know, what are you going to do in the hot floor to someone? You're not used to that kind of high-intensity workout. No yeah. one's really going to be able to make it the first time if, if you, you don't train for that. You always said from day one, I promise I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to get him abs. Yeah. And you got him abs. I I mean, it took everything I had. I mean, <laughs> almost cost me my marriage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. She wasn't uh, very happy about no, it. No, that was part of another reason why I had to do the split because he was it was consuming too much time and did he's you enjoy disrespectful it? as hell. You know, it, he doesn't yeah, I, I did. He's just he doesn't he take he doesn't say thank you. He doesn't he just expects. No, he takes, exactly. he takes, he takes, he takes and entitled. Just, yeah, he's so entitled and it, it just wore me after a while and then he started degressing, so it's like, okay, I'm done. If you're you had abs, great, and then he has abs and then it's like, Oh great, you know, Dunkin' Donuts every day and, and he just got fat again and it's like all right, you know. I can only say the same thing so many times. I don't want to live with you, Jason. I'm not doing that. You know, God, no, yeah, you can't pay me enough money to live with Jason to actually make him do a clean <clears throat> diet. So that was just a tipping. That was that was the straw right there, the final straw. Well, thankfully for me and Brad, people at this stage of the Genovaverse are aware of his ways. And they because know it's all that, on video. Right. <laughs> right. And so we don't really feel that big of a need to defend ourselves against anything he says because they know he's a liar right. and they of know course. he'll lie about person A to person B, then lie to person B about person A and burn the candle at both ends. Yeah. I, I've been dealing with this for years, but lines were crossed in that video he uploaded which by the way he deleted a few hours later oh, I guess you realize you know he fucked up but of course it got saved and re-uploaded yeah it doesn't matter once yeah, you put something up it gets copied and reposted that's it that's it's, it. It. it's yeah. an yeah. impermanent yeah. ink right. on the internet yeah. are, speaking of are all my videos still up or they're gone aren't they no they're still, they're still up oh yeah yeah all of them I don't know, as what, far as what, I know were they on your channel or no, they're, they're all on Jason's I looked for a few I couldn't find any you have to scroll through oh yeah yeah I know yeah he posts like three fucking two minute videos he was an account around that time I thought he lost it I don't know because one day I will go back and watch him and probably laugh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some of the, and, and wonder what the fuck that. you were thinking yeah yeah I was <laughs> telling Andrew that today like I you know all the shit that we've put up with over the years of, we're fucking insane too we're yeah, just as fucking we're, crazy you're not getting but, anything out of it no <laughs> but you know <laughs> what the, comical value when people, yeah exactly you laugh here and there yeah. but when people ask why for all those years like between 2010 and say 2013 when we started up the Misfits did I film those videos in the gym mm-hmm. it was fun Right. Jason was fun to be around. Yeah, well, he, he had passion, yep. charisma. He loved to lift weights. Genuinely, he loved bodybuilding. Um, it even, was, though he, even though he wasn't good at it. Right. But, but, but still, the, the, the passion. <laughs> but that's what was funny was about yeah, it. Right. Yeah, yeah, the passion. You never knew what he was going to say. He was unpredictable. Yeah. And it was actually fun to film those videos, upload them, edit them. Yeah, watch throw them, in watch these, them. They were good. Yeah, these goofy intros. Right. So that's why I did it for that's all fun. those years. Now he's just a tryhard. He yeah. just does goofy shit. Yeah. No, yeah, it doesn't. He's... I think he's given up the dream, hasn't he, by now? Oh, yeah. Or is he still trying to be an nah. aspiring bodybuilder? Well, it, it's from one day to the next. Yeah. If he does, it's nothing more than a shtick. Right. Because yeah, every time not... I see him at Publix, it's, um, he's, you know, he's going to be doing movies with Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. He's, he's going to be doing all these movies and uh, latest things. Who? Never heard of it. <laughs> Well, and, uh, Leonard was with me when this this uh, this last bullshit happened. He, it was good because he was on speaker in the car, and Leonard heard everything he said. He's like, "Oh, listen, I'm gonna, I'm like, I got a new manager. His name is Big Rob. He's yeah, gonna do my, right. he's gonna do my clothing. He'll make hoodies and right. all this shit." And I said, "Well, that's good because we don't have time to do all that yeah. shit." And quite frankly, your shit doesn't sell anyway. So. <laughs> he just to smile. <laughs> and Leonard heard, you heard everything he thought. He says, okay. I said, that's fine. We'll change the domain name, whatever you can have, whatever clothes we have left and hats. Go to Andrew's and pick it all up. He's like, okay. And I said, I'll give you some money. 
because we made a little bit of profit off the last shit, not mm-hmm. much, but I'll give you what it is. So he came over, I gave him the money, he came to Andrews, got his shit, and that was oh. it. And then he claims that it was us that stole his domain right. and kicked him out when he was the one that elected to do that By shit. By the way, if he wants that domain name, he can have JasonGenovaClothing.com, all he has to do is call me, and I'll have right. Matt, I'll text my friend Matt, and I'll have it transferred over to his name, and yeah. he can do whatever Problem he wants with he it. To pay for We're not it. holding it. <laughs> he's going to have to pay for it. He's going to have to pay the $12. Or he's, got, yeah. or he's got to run the site himself. He right, doesn't know how to pack up shirts and all that shit. We did all the work. He never lifted a fucking right. finger. And you guys, I know you want to take advantage. I'm sure. Fuck no, sure. man. I, mean, I, I don't know this shit. Rob guy, but you can just pretty much say it. most likely. Well, he already take... dropped them after two weeks. Oh, Jason did? No, uh, oh, Rob, Rob did. did. Yeah, well, maybe Rob... so maybe Rob's a good guy. <laughs> by, by the way, Brad said two months. I said two weeks. So Brad, you owe me a wow. you owe me a Philly cheesesteak with cheese. You got it. <laughs> a whiz with, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Chuck? Which Chuck? Um, Chuck Chuck. Chuck the cat Chuck. abandoner. Yeah. Oh, it's a sore subject for Leonard. Oh, yeah. Well, it's come to my attention. I spoke with Andrew Kalora, who actually can communicate with cats, and he's saying a lot of cats are saying they oh, took my on a God, long man. trip, and they remember being in a garage with one guy playing Game of Thrones, and he'd walk around naked. He had one testicle, so... And they're coming up all the way to Greenville, South Carolina, saying that they were dropped off in the woods somewhere. So he really said he could communicate I really with hate, cats. Yeah, he takes in the stray cats, but he has the ability to actually communicate. I can't wait with to them. meet him. He's just and, as fucking uh, crazy as you, huh? Also, there's a rumor going around that somebody with hairy legs is doing uh, cat stomping videos, putting on high heels. And I'm not going to name any names, but. I Who's will get done? to the bottom of this, and you will definitely get a call from the SPCA. About? There's Just somebody use first doing names. Don't use last cat name. crush videos with high heels with hairy legs. Use first name, not last. I'm not using any names. Why not? Until I get we're to on, the We're on the a website now. We're not on SoundCloud anymore. You can say it. Who? <laughs> well, it's, I don't have any solid proof. Just rumors. <laughs> All right. That they're coming out of Delray Beach. <laughs> so, Where the fuck an investigation's underway. Shit? Oh, my God. I have an idea who it is. He's putting on the heels. Oh, yeah. I know it. Yeah. I have no <laughs> Me neither. Well, it'll come forth in the you future. You tell me episodes. after, since you don't want to talk. <laughs> All right. You must be scared of this person. That name. <laughs> her name? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he might as well be her. He has one testicle. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What did you think? You went to the Super Bowl, huh? Yeah, it was fun, uh, other than the outcome. It was 10. Yeah. So you're from Massachusetts? I'm from Detroit. I'm a Tom oh. Brady fan from Michigan. Football first. Wow. Okay. So, you and Jay Masters and, and Emma. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Shit was fucking old. Negative. Yeah, yeah, they night. said it was negative 18 or crazy. some shit. I was like, oh. I was breathing in through my nose. and it was like. So how much did this, your tickets cost? A lot. <laughs> a lot of money. How much? <laughs> <laughs> we looked it up when we were watching the game. The average ticket price was like a little over five grand. Five, five grand, grand, Adam? Well, a little bit less, but then the stupid fees. They charge like 20% on fees. Like, come on, man. That's the business to get into. And then parking. Well, you didn't. No, did they you didn't drive? Park, Uber. Yeah. Uber, yeah. yeah. So you've got two young kids now, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. I got to ask you, how the hell do you manage? Because I'm, I'm friends with you on Facebook. I see you here. <laughs> I see you here. Well, we try I to take you them. We try to take do, them. Do you take them or do you? Uh, we do. Most of them. I mean, we're actually going to Norway. We're taking them to Norway in two weeks. I'm kind of scared about that. That's Jesus. a long flight for a one-year-old. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, Tramamine. It's getting, yeah, it's oh, getting close. Benadryl. <laughs> there you go. That's not a bad idea. Chloroform. <laughs> Shh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not a bad idea. Bring um, back some uh, immigrant. Trump likes the Norwegians. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's just, he's got two young kids. What does he need an immigrant for? Well, you could get an au pair. Okay. Live in nanny. Live in nanny, real cheap. So, no, we have good, her like facility right around here. So. Oh, good. Yeah, we pump. That's perfect. Well, it's good for them, too, to get it a little is, separation. Is, yeah. now, you don't want them to be so clingy right. to where you can't even fucking right. go out to no, dinner yeah, and shit, they're, man. No, they're definitely not that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. So I understand de- you used to be a law enforcement officer. Yes. Um, yeah, that's been a while now. Huh? Was like, you have 20- any stories where you had to physically take anybody down? I've, it, was, um, it was like a little redneck town. There was one time where I had to change. Chase some tackle. Is it Dale Chance, possibly? <laughs> <laughs> How many years did you do Just that? Just two years. Enough, two. To, enough to really hate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> luckily, uh, I was selling supplements on the side, and luckily it got to the point where I was like, all right, I, I don't have this emerald god. Cause I'm, I'm too nice of a guy to be a cop. I hated to be mean to people, and I was always giving people warnings. It, it just wasn't. Yeah. And it was trying to make me turn into a bit of an asshole. He's just saying, hillbillies are gay fucking <laughs> drunk. Like, Jesus, man. What am I arrest you? You're just going to be out next day raising hell again. Drunk driving their tractor yeah. down the street. <laughs> where where at? Kingsport, East Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. 
and now it's heavy. I don't, yes, I don't even want it. There was no, there was like one shitty bar in town. Oh my god, I'd love for you guys to just have to walk in and see the local talent there because it was a site for it was not a site <laughs> for sore eyes. The local <laughs> talent, a bunch of dogs. It was, it and was then disgusting. The, the fucking rednecks dressed up with their cowboy oh, boots yeah. and hats. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like porkies. Oh wait, they're disgusting. M- missing teeth. Yeah. There was the movie Porkies. <laughs> Remember movie Porkies? Yeah, I haven't seen that uh, shit since I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. So what's your company now? Do you have uh, your own supplement? Same. Oh uh, yeah, we do. We have um, we chiseled labs um it doesn't well i mean i'll just be honest it's it really has never done well it just how did you even get that started what what uh, was the concept um you know we just pretty much i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's just one of those formulas with cheap cheap formulas um cool looking label just like all the other companies just marketing there. yeah just marketing and um pretty much just amazon marketing just ppc word through amazon and yeah i didn't put much i didn't put much into it so i'm getting one to put out <laughs> <laughs> maybe four or five hundred dollars a month, so it's, not, it's nothing crazy. Uh, but yeah, you live and learn. Maybe maybe one day I'll decide you know, put, I'll start making YouTube videos again and actually advertise. Because I mean, I looked at my YouTube channel the other day. I was like, I've actually got a decent following. I haven't made a video in like three years, and somehow my subscribers have gone up and my views have gone up just because of like, no shit. the yeah, ads. The, the Delray Misfits. Yeah, yeah, that, that for sure. They definitely when I Leonard's, started hanging out with Jason. <laughs> Leonard's talking about doing. A, he wants to do a pre workout supplement. Yeah, yeah. You can you can manufacture them for four or five. Five dollars now. They're not just much. worry about putting about the best. I don't care about a profit at this point. Putting the best shit in it. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you're gonna. That's probably like Being seventeen dollars. Yeah. Let it take care of itself. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. People are looking for a clean pre-workout. That's it's uncanny right now. Yeah. What? So what else do you do? You just. I just pretty much you know buy and flip. I, I, I buy and I sell on Amazon or I flip it to um, you know people that I've met throughout the years that own big websites. So sometimes I'm the middleman. So in bulk. Sometimes yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's like what with you had that shit with PJ too, right? Yeah, like so yeah, I um, in the beginning, like when they first started, I was probably his number one customer. I was buying off him every week, good, you know, big volume. Um, we're good now, but there was a time where PJ and I were, we were beefing. Yeah, Aaron and I, we always throughout that whole thing. Him and I, would he talk text? Cause he was a little bit more. Um, or, uh, the brains of the operation. Yeah, yeah, he was more more diplomatic. Yeah, maybe. more diplomatic, level headed. So he was, he understood my. Um, so PJ's way or the highway, I understand. Right? Pretty much, yeah. So and I and I was kind of the same way. So it was, yeah. it was, um, it was a standoff off of the credit card chargeback. <laughs> I, I know the story I heard about that. Yeah. I, I don't know how accurate it is that you, if you don't mind my talking. No, about, yeah. Okay. Ahead. You, you bought $19,000 worth of supplements. Give or take a thousand, yeah. Okay. To, to try and resell. On Amazon. Right. Yep. And then the products you wanted to sell were banned for being sold on Amazon. Yep. So you wanted your money back. Yeah. Within four days of buying it, um, the product was banned from Amazon. So I'm like, hey, you know, I haven't touched the cases. I said, will you take it back for a 10% restocking fee? I'm like, I'll bring it back. And you just made What $2, product $2, was it, by the way? Um, well, it's a whole line because the whole line got taken down. It was an angel dust. Uh, what were oh, it had the 1.3 in it? Uh, no. No, I don't, this one didn't have the 1.3 in it. That was banned a while ago before this. Um, the growth, uh, Cobra 6, Eradicate, you know, those, those types of products. Huh. So I'm like, you know, let, let me, I'll just bring it back. I mean, keep in mind, we've been doing business for like four years now. No problems. I've never returned anything. I'm like, take a 10% restocking fee. You know, that's $2,000 just to ha- deal with the hassle of me bringing it back to you because I picked it up, you know. And he said, no, no, no. I said, okay, well, I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to do a chargeback if that's the way you want to go. And he's like, well, either way, I'm not taking it back. I said, okay, so I'm going to charge back. And I gave him a couple chances if you're not going to take it I said, All right, charge back I started, did the charge back because I never I never signed when I picked it up or anything like that so he can't speed it with a credit card company so in a couple months like that and then um, you know him saying bring it back I was like no I'm not going to bring it back I mean I, I, I was going to bring it back if you would have you know refunded me I know I'm not going to bring it back and then I have to deal with him you know dealing with the chargeback and him having the product because then I can right. get the money in the product and Aaron called me and he's just like PG's about to take the um, you know go civil action on this and I'm like oh, that's fine okay if he wants to spend money on this I will too because I mean it could go either way and um Aaron's like, all right, I'll do the ten percent. I don't see why he, this is such a big deal. I said, okay, great. And that was it. <laughs> so in essence, <laughs> so you, annoying. you were a part a of them pissing, splitting. It was, piss, yeah. it was a pissing contest. Yeah, yeah it basically. was. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Now you don't. Do you still sell the products? No, I don't. I sold some. I, I sold some of Aaron's since then. So what's been the key to your successful marriage? <laughs> I wish I was. I, I'm. I can't really. I'm just because I'm still married. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Well, Mary Jane. Um, yeah. uh, I, I don't have a successful marriage. Never heard of her. <laughs> it's not just because we're married doesn't. I can mean introduce you to her. She's in the cabinet. If yeah. What do you define as a successful marriage anyway, Leonard? Because yeah. when people are someone that's still married in this no, day and age, I don't. And Adam's still married. 
resiliency. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's called I, compromise. It is, and I'm getting better. At it. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm pretty selfish sometimes. And that, Can we uh, ask your age? Yeah, I'm 35. Wow, you're very mature for that age. <laughs> well, thank you. We're getting you better. seem like a very intense human being. I could... Just feel the intensity <laughs> vibe sitting next to you. I have a hard time staying still, that's for sure. I'm always, <laughs> always go, go, go. Have you ever been in the military? No. No, I thought about it, but no. You always seem to me like it would be an uh, ideal Marine or Green Beret. I would love to. I, I don't know if I could handle uh, Green Beret. <laughs> I see some of the things you did in the gym. I think you'd smoke some of those fat beer drinking wimps. Yeah, but not <laughs> with their body armor. I know, I know those. You, now when you That's see the movies, shit, yeah, when you see the movies, it's what? Like, uh, what just, they put them through the Green Berets yeah, and the Navy intense. Seals and shit. The training that they have to go through. Lone Survivor, the book. Did you guys read that? Oh my god, no, that's an incredible book. Here's a question, Adam. Michael's I tell. know Adam is more in a CrossFit style training, but I'm interested to know his best PRs on the main lifts <laughs> and right. also an update. I remember I used to bench three. 15 in the old world gym. I, I see that for reps back in the uh, day. The main lifts and also an update on how his own training has been going. So oh. basically, Adam, how much you bench? Yeah, right. Um, yeah, that's all I want to know. It's bench down. Squat. Probably like I could probably only bench 315 for one right now. Squat, nothing. I could probably only do like 315. I could deadlift probably like four. What's your per, What's your PRs though? My PRs? Oh, I did 405 for eight reps on squat when I was like 22. I did that for deadlift 405 for eight when I was 22 and I did like 385 on the bench. Right now, I just... My knees are shot. I don't even do cross with them much anymore. I, um, I see Leonard. I, I've always called you Leonard. You'd rather be called Leonard? <laughs> Leonard at, you uh, called me worse back <laughs> in the day. <laughs> I, that was just a nickname. I don't know. For some reason, I had it just caught in my... <laughs> Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> it, it probably was. I apologize for that if I said that. Um, I go to Planet Fitness now. I know. I know. Right? Join, the, <laughs> join the club. Yeah, I know. We all have memberships there. That's a good the way to get I all see your... The inside of that place is when I go to pick him up. That's a good way to get all your PRs <laughs> down in the toilet. Join up to Planet Smith Fitness. machine Brad and I joined pounds. on the same day. I've been there three times. I get out, and you're yeah, still yeah. paying the monthly. Well, I did 99 for the year up front. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a special that I It's nothing. Yeah, no, it's nothing. Would you ever consider, in any way, shape, or form, reopening the old world gym or looking into it, and no. starting something up? No. Now? Oh, I, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I owned the CrossFit Del Rey. I ended up buying it like a year, over a year ago. Oh no. Yeah, that was a bad decision. Um, mm. Yeah, it's just I've got too much going on with kids. You know, I I, I, I used to have the passion for like helping people out and get in better shape. But once you have kids, like, man, I just want to be home with kids and not help yeah. out strangers you want to watch that grow, are just going to yeah. work out and then go home and eat fucking Big Mac. It's, you know, they're not going to get the results just by working out one day or four days a week. So it's all, it, that's great. I think you're, 80% your kids, of it is you're done. married. You want to spend time with them? Thank you. Doesn't get any better than that. No, it's going to be, I'm going to blink and then they're going to be in You're college. the role model, not me. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would hope so. <laughs> You want to role model Dave Palumbo been abusing bestowed the term of your fifth role model to me, and I, you know, I'm trying to live up to that now. But what happened, kids? Adam's when a real role 40s? model. Did you see him on RX Muscle? No, I didn't. But I talked to him the night, the night or the the day before. How did that go? It went well. Uh, he got a lot of views. Brought a new opinions forth, and of course. It's good. There's some negatives to it, but it makes me puts me on my toes. What do you mean negative? Like, like I, w I would expect some because I insulted Muhammad, so I would expect oh. some rag to attack me when I'm on my bike. So you're like the new Salman Rushdie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's worse. There's a fatwa out on you. Yeah, it's not hard to find me. I got Chuck Basher threatening me with the hollow points, but I brought it up to, onto myself, and I like that pressure. Yeah. This is the one with Cutler or Columbo? Did you end up doing oh, all with Cutler? Who? I never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I have heard of her. I'm sorry. Jake Cutler. Yeah. I've heard of her. <laughs> Palumboism met Lennyism. I don't speak on behalf of a lot of the maniacs. They want to know, have you ever used performance-enhancing substances of any kind? Am I? You yes. asking Adam? Yes. Um, yeah, I'll be honest. I took um, Havoc when I was 24. Havoc's that? like a that was Epistain. The, the trend? Oral trend? No, no, that wasn't trend. It's like um, it's Epistain, uh, E-stain. Um, it's Epistain. Everyone, you never heard of that one? It's yeah, like, I, it's I, legendary. He, oh. he, he it's knows a, all that. I shit. didn't believe it. I didn't think it over-the-counter work. Oh, it's, it's just so fucking bad for you. It's like, yeah. Is it oral? Oral? Yeah. How'd you feel on it? 
Oh, yeah. Horny as fuck and, you know, insane pumps. Really? Yeah, but I was... It's bad for you. you. It sounds great to me. (laughs) Have you ever taken that? I've taken them later on. Yeah, they work. The strongest ones ever made were over the counter. No shit. It's just killing you. The legal loophole. Yeah. Some incredible things that were over the counter. That's how I started my business back when um, they were legal and you could... I was master of flipping pro hormones. That was was all I did. Yeah, Uh, those margins. Yeah, they were great. I mean, you were lean, dry, and strong, horny. Someone, Someone had a question for you, Lenny. Uh, uh, can you ask Lenny what he thinks of SARMs and if he's took MK2866 Osterin? Big, yes. Big misfits for him. I'm on a MK. multiple SARMs capsule now. I'm taking two a day. They're all of a maximum dosages. But I take them with my cycle, so it's hard to differentiate what I get out of it. I don't think I would ever take them clean. I just like to cover all bases. I like to take a certain amount of anabolic, a certain amount of androgen, some GH, some insulin, throw in some IGF-1 two weeks out of the month, and then mix in the SARMs. Yeah, sure. And a little a bit of, of thyroid. You want to cover all bases. Yeah. You want to, well, I think I was a stimulants. I really do, because I was taking double-dose pre-workout. That's why he lives in squalor, because he spends all his money on drugs. I was going to say, drugs. how much are you spending a month? He's a fucking drug addict. It's like two grand. Well, I, you know, not having a car helps, but then again, all the cookie cutters have cars. I'm out there getting vitamin D, built in cardio, you know, and then a suntan f- for free. Yeah. And not having to pay. So I got the best of both worlds. Although I wish I, you know, I do need the wife and kids like you. I want to ask, do you have any type of need religious. Uh, Beliefs and what are they? No, I'm atheist. Atheist? What's that? <laughs> I'm probably more agnostic. I don't know. I, I'm, there might be a God, but I just have a hard time finding that there was a Jesus or. It means he doesn't believe Jesus in lived. That's a fact. <laughs> Jesus lived. That's a fact. Yeah, it was a man. He may have lived. What is this? The atheist podcast of, of America? <laughs> It's he, not a bad idea. We gotta get a believer. When Andrew Kalora comes down, you'll get a believer. No, you're you're and outnumbered you're gonna again, see. Leonard. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every night he's out now. Yeah, you guys we don't believe in that shit. When I'm in heaven, you guys in hell <laughs> outnumber me. Good. Sure. We'll have a lot more fun in hell <laughs> if there's if there's such things. Is that a Freudian slip? No. You you'd want to be in in heaven with all the squares, right? With Christina, yeah. Jesus. It doesn't sound like fun up there. You can't go to hell. You'll take over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're saying you look like the, the Satan from the South. Park movie. No, please. The skinny legs and the big stomach. Have you ever seen that? No, I'll have to look Did it you up. see that South Park movie? No. Cookie cutters are going to hell. Who cares? You'll care like my father used to tell me. I won't care because I'll be dead later. When your ass is burning in eternity. We're all going to be you in the same place. You know what he used to place. say? We're going to be dirt. He used to turn that oven on to under. maximum, 500 degrees on baked <laughs> for 10 minutes. He said, come here. He pulled on the oven door. He says, feel that heat? So see how hot that is, how painful that is? He goes, imagine being that oven for eternity. And he goes, you know what eternity is, boy? Never stops. A thousand years, a million years, keep going. Because so that's what hell is. I'm like, holy shit, that'll scare the exactly. hell out of you. And that's how primitive people are kept in line, by believing that nonsense and bullshit. What? God doesn't work for me. just another sheep. God must be petty. Well, when I'm hitting, believe me, hitting those you streets, hell. it didn't work that much. But again, we're all sinners, so. Exactly. Yeah. So you got no chance. But I just ask you to reconsider. <laughs> As you've heard, uh, All right, the young gentleman from uh, New World Order, he claimed to be an atheist, and he, but he also said when he got hit by a car and cut in half, he did see a, a white light and a woman at the end in a white oh, robe. He did say that. Yeah, he did say that. You remember seeing And a lot he of people was, have said that. He was hallucinating. He was in shock. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's all the, the chemicals that are released from your body. Makes you shock. see the same thing, a white tunnel with a woman in a robe. Everybody has seen or a that. man that's in a room. Brink of death. Yeah, everyone oh, see yeah. that's a that's a fact. <laughs> You're imagining so, shit. So, what's the worst beating that you've ever received from Bree? We, <laughs> we talking a black eye, a neck brace? Please let the maniacs know. Oh my god, that, I, I don't know, know man. She looks pretty fucking tough. <laughs> I met her that one time at the gym when I met you yeah. and you put me through that fucking <laughs> she that homo ass. CrossFit yeah. shit. You kicked the shit out of me. She was not. I was breaking his balls and she just walked away. <laughs> she. She's a, She's a hard ass. I'm not going to lie. There was one time where she did uh, come at me a little bit, and I had to grab her and throw her and close the door, and she's beating on it, trying to get in on it, locking it. I thought the door was going to break Talking down. Talking about domestic abuse. Yeah. Uh, it was, that was not normal. So you want to be married for us. Uh, I was like two years into being married, but luckily we're doing a lot better now. And Good. 
You get the kids to distract you. The kids will distract you. Luckily, she's a great mom, and I like to think of myself as a good dad. So, that What type of diet do you have your kids on? Say, for instance, what do they eat at breakfast, nah, the typical breakfast? It's pretty healthy. She's uh, she's insanely – she worries about what they eat so much that it's eggs are um, healthy Ezekiel bread toast with oh, that's great. all natural peanut butter, you know, the kind you grind up at Fresh Market. It's grapes. It's just it, – she doesn't let them eat, like, junk Sweets. food ever. They, they, that's and, good. And what about sodas and coffee? No, he's never, he's never had soda. They'll get teeth like this when they get there. You have good teeth. Thanks. Good. <laughs> great. Great. Fan- incredible teeth, Adam. <laughs> As well as my physique. It's yeah, going to be incredible. My kids are never soda drinkers. Yeah. They still just drink water. How old is your, your, your oldest? My son's 16. He'll oh, be wow. 17 this year. And then my middle daughter is going to be 12 in May. And then my youngest is going to be 10 in September. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they don't they don't like soda? No. Nope. Good deal. So you've, you've raised They've them. They've tried maybe. it, but they, they'd rather just have water, yeah. which is good. Of course. Gator and shit. Adam, when you're in there training and you're at your f- muscles and your lung are just at their limits. Mm-hmm. What motivates you to keep going and break through that pain barrier? Ooh, um, competition, people around you. That's why when I go to Planet Fitness, you're very competitive. Like, right? <laughs> I'm very competitive. Yeah, like, that I, day that he was at the World Gym working out that I ran into you. This fucking guy, I don't know what you were doing. Maybe I don't even know what a burpee is, but whatever. It was a leg workout. And he was laying on the fu- after he did his set. He's fucking laying on the floor. <laughs> it's sweat all over the fucking floor. I'm like, what the fuck yeah. is this guy doing, man? Yeah, you were with your your wife and Jesus, some other girl, and that. then I started to break your balls, yeah. and she's like, she gave me a dirty look and walked away. <laughs> she, I don't remember. But you were good, man. Either. You could you rolled with it. It was funny. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Roll with the and then he's like, here, try this. Do you have a sports kicked, background, Adam? You kicked my ass with that. Yeah, you did. Whatever, you did whatever fucking amazing. You made it all the way to the end. That was awesome. Yeah, that was tough, though. Um, it took it out of me. I played tennis and soccer. Tennis and <laughs> soccer? Yeah. My mom wouldn't let me play football. I was also um, 18 years old at 125 pounds. So I was, uh, I was on track. I, what uh, were you eating? Were you just burning up calories? Oh, that's, a long, that's a whole other sort of subject. My parents, we didn't have a lot of money, but she would never, like, have, we never had food in the house, so I didn't eat much. It was pretty sad. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, it's fucked up. I know, right? You said you did have a lot of money, but there was didn't no have food. a lot of money. No, oh, didn't, we okay. didn't have a lot of money, and we didn't that have government, food. government cheese? Yeah, we had government cheese. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, Scott, Scott Young. Jung. He's a, he's Scott a gook. Scott Jung. <laughs> Tell us some Kresva stories that we may not know about, Koth. Um, can you think? Can you think of one good one, off the top of your head? Has he been following me on Facebook when I catch random videos of Jason? Have you guys seen those? Outside like, Publix yeah, or yeah. wherever Every I now see him. Yeah. You post one of those. Um, right, let me let me think on that while I'm, we're talking, and I'll come back to. It. I can't think of anything off the uh, top of my head. Right now. There's Kimbo Leonard. Prepare for your blood pressure to go down. <laughs> Thank God. He knows everyone here but Adam. He, he's kind of eyeballing Adam, but he knows. Adam, that. do you have cats or dogs or fish or parrots? Um, we have hamsters. Little Yorkie. Hamsters. Uh, pets. You could just say pets, <laughs> Leonard. I think that, that would cover. That, would, a, that fr- would cover everything. That would be a Freudian slip. The pets. <laughs> Why? We had bear. <laughs> Use that know. fucking. Term. You have a bear. We had bear though. He was the German Shepherd. That was in the video. The bear was a great dog. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of German shepherds named Bear. My neighbor has one in front of me. That's shit in the backyard name. when I'm doing squats on a patio because I do half of <laughs> my leg workout so, yeah. <laughs> with a power rack and then I bike at the Planet Fitness for the leg press but I do the squats I can scream yell yep. you know what do you do about dumbbells it only goes up to 75 well, I remember back at uh, Little Jimmy you were doing like I do laterals then I'd like to get back into dumbbell presses you know my upper body you can tell but I'm working on it I'm maybe thinking about getting some power blocks do you ever use those? No, no, I never did. Maybe you can lend him one of those big fucking tires you can flip up and yeah, down his driveway. I don't know. I got rid of those fucking things. <laughs> How much do those weigh? Um, they'd probably go up to like 250, 300, the big end. It's just hard to grip, huh? Yeah. Um, I meant to ask you, you, how many times has the lunk alarm gone off on you? Because I'm worried about like doing anything at Planet Fitness. Yeah, I wouldn't do a burpee there. I'm worried that everyone's going to I don't me. even know what the fuck a burpee well, they is. Don't because because I don't because I don't. It went off one not, time and I stopped burpee, what I was, I was doing. Start. You know, I might have grunted for a millisecond. And I stopped, turned around and just stared at the uh, front desk for a good, I don't know, 60 seconds. Just <laughs> stared. And that was the end of that. I'm sure they're And I, one little kid with that. a cerebral palsy, Gustavo, came by. He says, we saw him tonight, they sent off the lunk alarm. I you tell him he ever does that again, he says, I'm going to rip his freaking head off. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that lunk alarm activated by the person at the front desk? Yes. Or is it and depend sensor. on the decibels? And, yeah, sensors. I really? Sensor, yeah, no. Yeah. When I, yeah, dropped, I was going to say, I, I thought it was a sensor. Yeah. Like when I set the 75s down, like when I'm benching, sometimes I... If you drop them? Yeah, it's very gently, though. It's not like I'm throwing them down. And it just does a quick little siren. Oh, my God. It's no just, shit. Just, like, yeah, that's, just roll your eyes. Like, what the fuck? 
that's not so you should have a lunk alarm when some of those ignoramuses are sitting on the bench looking at their phone and not doing anything and leaving dumbbells and 10 pound plates so you trip on them yeah no that's shit. when you should have a lunk alarm you should see how fucking la fitness looks in the morning in delray i've filmed oh, snaps boy. in there man it, it's okay. fucking really bad the la fitness will be gone night. well that's what happens that's it's so left over from the night before and right. nobody puts shit back that's a sign that jim's on its way out yeah, la fitness knows, don't, don't use any kind of maintenance anymore it's a money maker dude yeah. never go well no there'll be another gym and planet fitness blows them away I think they have more members than no, Planet. No. Oh, members, but not equipment. No. Yeah, and Smith it, Machines. LA Fitness is, has way better equipment. Of course, Their equipment's but great, but just the people that go there are fucking jerk-offs. Which one? The one in Delray. Oh, yeah. Boca's, eh, it's not yeah. so bad, except for the crazy lady that likes to fucking dance around it. <laughs> I haven't Delray, seen her for a while. I think Bo- she may have gone In Boca, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen one person with a jump rope in Boca. Have you? No. Yeah, they like to jump rope in the middle of the fucking weight room. <laughs> well, I used to do that actually back in the day. Uh, but I would go to the corner a little bit you know I would have just yeah if you're out of the way I don't give a shit but not right right Right. by the fucking I'm trying to get dumbbells (laughs) and this guy's hopping on the fucking rope man no that's that's true it's ridiculous it's ridiculous I I saw a couple the other day come in holding fucking hand and did all their work in between sets holding in between sets oh yeah that's around the whole fucking gym there was one couple in our old world gym that would that would prance around the whole weight room holding hands they would never let go of each other's hand it was almost like it was an act like it was a shtick but it wasn't Wow. This bizarre, like, yeah. separation anxiety that they have. I don't know. You ever had a confrontation in a gym yeah. from, say, uh, management or other members where they didn't oh, yeah. like what you were doing? Like, oh, did, yeah. did you give a specific All time. instance? <laughs> All the time. Back when I um, first started selling supplements, I'd be um, peddling them in the gym, and they were selling supplements, too. So, you know, uh, of course. Undercutting their prices. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I got plenty of warnings, and, you know, I just couldn't stop. It was just addicting trying to keep selling stuff, so they kicked me out. You started selling them when you came down here when you were No, back in uh, Tennessee, before I was a cop, um, just in uh, in the trunk of my car and in the heat, which was looking back, like, man, I was just keeping supplements in 100-degree weather for fucking months. Like, yeah, yeah, there's some good tasting protein. (laughs) Most of that shit is a placebo effect anyway. Oh, yeah, it's all. I I don't even take shit anymore. I don't even take protein. I haven't taken protein in, like, years. Really? Yeah, I don't don't take it. I hadn't taken any in about three years, and Leonard gave me some. So I've been making, you know, because yeah. I usually, I'll make a smoothie once in a while, and I'll just throw a scoop of that shit in there, but I don't know. You don't feel a difference, difference on it. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to put on heavy amounts of mass, I could see using it, but right. the average yeah. person. Yeah, it's, no, no. Nothing beats regular food. I don't know, it doesn't. Coffee. Yeah, food and coffee. If I want to boost to take an Adderall, I'm yeah, there you go. go. <laughs> I've never worked out an Adderall. <laughs> Have you? Yeah. You get sharp. I bet. Sharp, yeah. Uh, where is this going to be? Um, so I got to go to a website to listen to this later? Yeah, because we got... You, you no longer do the podcast? Well, no, we were, this, is, this is... We were on SoundCloud, but okay. now we're on um, DelrayMisfitsPodcast.com. We have our own dedicated website cool. for it now, which... Any reason why you guys... SoundCloud <laughs> banned us. Ah, okay. We got a, we got a permanent ban oh, yeah. after the last episode. Yeah. That's their loss. Yeah. yeah. Just like I was banned from the WWE, the Maniacs wanted me to wrestle Triple H, and they demanded to see me as a wrestler. And they actually reached out to Andrew, and they wanted... Wow. They did, the lady from the WWE. The lady called me for an interview. I was all set to oh, go, yeah. and then she said, oh, we, after looking at your material... We've decided not that you're not or whatever. Oh. you're not in line with the values of WWE. Well, that's their loss. Yeah, damn, that would have been entertaining. Did you say, <laughs> awesome. you say yeah. pork too much? Well, I wouldn't have said that, no. per se. Yeah, but, but it's already out there, Leonard. They can't... What happens is, is if they go ahead and sponsor you and have you on, people are going to... Regular fans are going to look you up mm-hmm. and be like, why do you have this fucking racist yeah, in the ring? It's a Hell, fan. you ever hear of Colonel De Beers from South Africa? He's a yeah, wrestler. But it's, but it's more family-driven now. It's fucking bullshit. If you, I don't know how anybody... Do you watch that shit? Shit. Fuck no. Yeah. My little nep- well, nephew does. But. I don't know how any grown adult watches that shit. Because they're cookie WWE. cutters now. The they don't scare now. anybody. No, it's stupid. Yeah. It's all it was fucking, more entertaining It's back a soap then. opera for it is. fucking muscles. I, you couldn't pay me to loss. fucking go to one of those. It's Actually, it did back in the day. It's a live comic book, basically. It is. It's entertaining. You laugh. It's you just Adam, do you ever look at Mindless entertainment. As a married man. Oh, God, no. Do you ever look at it? Fuck no. Yes, you have. No, no, no. You've seen it. No. I mean, I really. Things pop up all the time. way that might have been like a pop the only way that oh, the only, might have been the only way that we've that seen that shit is when somebody else will send it right. to you through a message and <laughs> yeah. you fucking okay, click on it. Yeah. And then right. all of a sudden you're like, oh, how did it pop up? Like he's looking for something on. And Best I think Buy. Adam, I think I think something else here? popped up when you saw it, and you're taking it real personal. I no, think that's what that's the story behind I, that. I, I, no, Leonard that's, thinks he's like a psychiatrist. Not my forte. He just he doesn't want to feel alone in this. That's his problem. Sorry to tell you, you are, pal. 
Dude, Maybe you and Jay Masters, because he's a sick fuck, too. The Instagram user Chucky Basher has a question for you, Lenny. <laughs> Ask Lenny to elaborate on how the other country's athletes don't kneel for our national anthem at the Olympics, but our own athletes in the NFL do. It just goes to show the ungrateful cowards and that are led by these propagandists that are instilling instilling hate against this country, against European culture, and against all our core values at a young age. They're told about the evil white man, what they did, the American Indian that went to Africa with well, the look, slave Kaepernick trade. Well, started that shit, and he got athlete of the year or whatever. Well, that figure. Man of the year, right? Or, yeah. Something, something Coward like cookie cutter of the year. Colin <laughs> and that's why he's still unemployed. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, your coworker <laughs> exactly. referred to Colin Kaepernick as Colin Copernicus. <laughs> you know, the Saints fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have no respect for this country. needs to instill fear into people like they did before. Boy, they have to bomb the Japanese. They kissed our ass so bad to this day. You don't hear them saying a peep about us. So who, whoever asked that, the, uh, Chucky Basher, there's your answer. Chucky and Basher. that's not the real Chuck Basher because he's very articulate. Not. One of the films he admitted it. He well, didn't deny it. The last video where he was pretending like he was back in the prison yard with his asshole girlfriend, uh-huh. he, he was talking about fucking Lenny being a Chuck Basher. He said, he said it. Yeah, yeah. Huh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the taste of other man's buttholes on his cock, I guess. <laughs> little skank. <laughs> Don't worry, we're, we're not on SoundCloud anymore. Yeah, we can say exactly. <laughs> they said, Adam, be, be careful that CrossFit will snap your shit up. Stop being a good cutter. No, you're right. That's why Adam, I'm taking a break. you get hit on by other women while you're in gyms? <laughs> no, because everyone knows my wife. She's there every day. <laughs> she knows. They, they, they know that she'll beat their fucking ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Cock blocks. Never gotten hit on in the gym, really. I wish. <laughs> Who doesn't want that? Like, oh, can someone hit on me? <laughs> Don't like you see ne- me flexing in the mirror? <laughs> it's a double standard. Men want to be sexually harassed and women don't. I know. Even though they wear that skimpy ass right, shit, yeah. then they yeah. get, you know, they don't want to be looked bullshit. You don't want people looking at you. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Dick you just Jesus. don't want the ghouls like this one looking at you. Did you finish all the pizza? Oh, yeah. You did? <laughs> we were going to offer you some out of it. Good. I appreciate we it. figured you eat so clean that. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm far from eating clean right now. I'm, I don't have abs that much anymore. I'll have them. Okay, so it's weird. On Monday, I'm fat. On Friday, after I, you know, go on a four day diet, which is what I do every week, I have like a little six pack and then beer 30 on Friday and I'm starting drinking all weekend. That's my problem. Yeah. I, I kept, and I started doing just drinking on the weekends now and it's like, you feel great. Right. And, and then Friday, you're like, <laughs> what kind of beer do you drink? Um, my go to is probably Guinness, Stella. Um, IPAs, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, everything. Hefeweizen. I mean, I, there's the only thing I don't really like is cheap beer unless, you know, you're outside in the heat. Like Pabst Blue Ribbon? That's when I <laughs> drink that over the weekend, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever drink that. I was making fun of my friends for ordering. I'm like, actually, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> With a shot of Jameson. Beer and a shot. Ooh, I've done that before, but it's not probably my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> you're from Michigan? You never did that before? Um, it's a Midwest thing. You mean Guinness and Jameson, right? We used to... Put um, we get a pint of Guinness, and put a shot of port wine in. Oh, but that gets expensive because right. port wine's expensive. Yeah, they had a place in in East Point years ago called the Irish Cottage. That's where you get cool. that from. Yeah, they shut that down. It was right across from that Aphrodite, I think it was called. Oh, the strip club. Yeah, Tiffany's Cabaret. Is that what it was? That's called? That's what it was called first. <laughs> then it changed it to Aphrodite. You look at Lenny shaking his head. Yeah, about. But the Irish Cottage <laughs> was right across from that off Federal over there. It's a great place. They had a good. They actually had a dominatrix in one of those buildings. Huh? <laughs> Me and Andrew Calori said go to many places around there. Renzo's Pizza, Ovation, the nightclub. And went to, that's where he had the hate breed Renzo's concert. Renzo's is still there, actually. He opened another spot down the street. You don't drink, do you, Leonard? No, I don't. I was going to say, better now with all the stuff you just told me you're taking. That would not go well. Yeah. That's why he's still alive. <laughs> no drinking or smoking. I'm alive thanks to Christina Broccolini. Do you know who that is, Adam? No, I don't. More well, have your kids watch of course me, you don't fucking know. me <laughs> TV Sunday morning a, at 7. She's a B minus, Very good B minus she's actress. a television show called with. Mystery Hunters. It's like in search of for kids. <sighs> Definitely have your kids watch it. Very educational, entertaining. Okay. Very good television. as award winning. Huh? You get those stupid... Stupid kid songs in your head now, all this. Oh, God, yeah. Shit. Fucking man. Mickey Mouse yeah. Clubhouse. <laughs> Better than that rap music. Yeah. <laughs> My son listens to a little rap music. I probably shouldn't, but. Please tell him to stop. <laughs> Make him stop. His favorite song is Queen uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, though. So he's, he's learning a little bit of the old classics. <laughs> yeah, classic sodomites. <laughs> they got what he deserved. 
Uh, ACDC, ACDC. Who knows anymore? Yeah, the music now he sucks. You gotta listen to older shit if you wanna listen to anything good, really. How old are your kids? One in three. The boy's older. Yeah. And your Don't one year old listens to done? Bohemian Rhapsody? No, the three year old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even so, that's pretty finished, good. Right? What's that? You oh, finished. fuck yeah, I had a vasectomy a month and a half ago. How'd it feel? It was, all, it was not a good experience because there was I did a, it too. a little bit of a complication. So. <laughs> I had, mine, I had mine almost 10 years ago. Yeah. My last one. How'd it go with three years? Was it it's smooth? Fine. Yeah. My nuts swelled up. I wish that, back then, I wish I would have taken a picture. It's fucking pretty impressive how yeah. big your nuts get. I know. Fuck, man. Ooh, it's just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, what, what was twitch. your complication? It just, he, he said my tube was back behind like my balls and he took forever to, he was just digging uh, around just digging around you, were you aw- you were awake oh yeah yeah i was awake Fuck i know they yeah, i know i, I went to a doctor i said i want to be put out yeah I'm my not. insurance want to cover i'm like <laughs> fucking get out my insurance so i had to go in the office are you serious i thought i was gonna be at the hospital i was like can you gas me or something Ugh. and i was I, and i fucking i didn't take my valium either before so i'm over here freaking panicking did they sweating no, how do they do that when you're they, awake they shot um a, a needle in my balls to like novocaine to, yeah or, no, oh god not, it's just settling and like thinking about it they didn't even give you like propofol Demerol, nothing. Nothing. They, t- they gave me a prescription of um, Valium before, and I just fucking forgot to take it on the way in, like an idiot. So I, said, oh, God. I was, my back was just pure sweat on that damn. I was gripping everything I could. It was like a forty-minute, forty-five-minute song. It was only supposed to take 10, 15 minutes. Ugh. Like. I guess I had. You didn't feel voice. anything though, did you? Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, not bad though, not bad. Thank God. But they just have to cut was, the vest. Yeah, it wasn't so bad. But he was he moved some whatever. shit around. He was he was he he worked on one side and then the other. So he was having some issues, and it felt I couldn't walk for like a couple of days. It was worse than they said that the recovery been. Oh well. Yeah. Passed. See, I didn't have that. I had. I went to a doctor that put me out. It's fucking funny because I was going in the operating room and one of the there was a few different nurses or whatever, and a guy's putting on a glove, and it, you know they had already gave me the ringers and shit, so yeah. I was going to be out in no time. Right. Just put so which ball are we removing today? Oh my god! And then I, he laughed and passed out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, cool. that's great. But you gotta wear the fucking jock and you gotta yeah. ice. Mm-hmm. You sit on your couch. You fucking. Oh, yeah. and the nurse was new, so she was like, not, he was like getting mad at her because she wasn't doing what he needed to. It's just like, come well, on. That's very oh, reassuring. Right? Exactly. Was, and you're, they were trying to like rush me out before I even got there because it's the end of the day on a Friday. I'm like, Jesus, so you guys, did you get a lot of sleep tonight, doc or last night, doctor? Oh, good luck with that. He's yeah, just, you just he's, th- he's thinking, should I or shouldn't I shit on? <laughs> floor right now. Right. Well, out there is a good do spot. Do I want to piss it. Andrew off or no? <laughs> yeah. See, he's looking around. Better out there he's than He's going to take here. a dump Where right do I want to take a shit now? <laughs> Let's see what he does. <laughs> I'm surprised your there insurance w- wouldn't cover the literally. surgery. Mine cost $50 out of pocket. Wow. I don't even, <laughs> That's it. I'm sure. I don't even know. I don't think I've gotten the bill yet because it's been only a month. Uh, I'm sure it's coming. Yeah, it takes a little over a month yeah. to get that. Yeah. They want you to get that done. They don't want to pay for any more kids. Yeah. <laughs> I can't make her go through another surgery. You know, she yeah. already had two kids, one C-section. So. Which one was the C-section? Second, the first second. Or second? Yeah. Because if it's the first, then you always have to. Yeah. Do it. yeah. What about you, Andrew? You um, you, you dating anyone right now? Free as a boy. Dude. Yeah. Leonard, free as a boy. Dude. I've been celibate for almost <laughs> one year. <laughs> And I haven't been with a tranny in almost two years. Oh, wow. Is this the same tranny that Jason was um, convinced no, a while ago? <laughs> I regret I didn't go out when she gave me an open invitation to uh, do it. What was that? She what says, was come out here right now. And I sound of a car. It's like, what was that thing's name again from two summers ago? Puerto Rican lady boy. Brad and I were in Aruba, uh-huh. and our phones are both blowing up because Jason had this thing going on with this. I remember. To that. this day, we don't still don't know then, what the and hell. Then, and then Johnny Fitness was trying to fuck her, fuck Shim on the side. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> remember? Um, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Shim, he, she, whatever I can't remember the name. her name. Shit. Text Andrew or send Andrew a screenshot of Johnny Fitness trying to, to fuck. Johnny Fitness before. was sliding into her DMs. Oh, my dear. Yeah, and she was screenshotting them and sending them to me. I got, oh, wow. I never shared them or anything. I couldn't you're, give you're a nice phone. enough to do that. <laughs> yeah. So fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> shit that happens in this i know have you guys uh lived here a long time in delray i moved down here in 1990 i was discharged from the air force and i got a job two weeks later at the hospital been there ever since you know free food so really can't leave we'll work for food which hospital basically delray medical okay don't eat the tuna salad or the chicken salad (laughs) don't eat anything (laughs) so you're like right in the middle you can walk to work too right i ride my bike so just another expense away from what i need to be taken you know yeah 
I grew up here. West Spokane. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. You too? Be uh, 20 years this year. Awesome. October. Wow. Oh, yeah, shit. Man. Man, fucking Almost awesome, half man. my life I've been down here. I can't I'm believe I'm never it. moving. The best. I couldn't move back to New York. No way. Mm. There's zero quality of life. Nah, when once you just... live down here. Right. Once, you, once you're here through a winter and look at us. Yeah. It's fucking 80 yeah. degrees out, man. <laughs> like you said, you were, what was it? It was last week, the Super Bowl. Yeah. It was fucking minus 18 or I actually degrees. liked up north better. You know, I liked the weather better. You like to change the season. Yeah. So. But Sometimes I miss yeah, that. It wrecks a lot of memories. That's different if you work outside. For me, it's no right. good. I've never worked shit. It's well, a unless totally you're like different big job. Snowboarding or extreme sports out there, then I can understand that. You know, if you go boarding three times a week, but if you're just shoveling, if you're only going outside to shovel your uh, driveway, just that's not fun. Out. Yeah. Just to go to the store, you got to fucking shovel the well, snow. How cold is it in Norway right now? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm growing my beard out. <laughs> well, it's got to be winter. Yeah. Yeah, it's, we just, it's we just talked to some to the to the from Finland. Him and his brother, yeah, creepy. <laughs> he showed us it was all it was all snowing. Out. Brad has yeah. a stalker on Snapchat who Couple calls him. He calls me calls me through Snapchat probably yeah. fucking five times a day. I never answer. What the fuck? Yeah. And finally today I said, all right, I'll People answer. People are crazy. And Leonard was with How me, so go? I got to talk to him. He was fine. Just yeah. Whatever. The, the I see your sucks. skin is a blank canvas, Adam. No tattoos? No cookie-cutter tattoos? No, I've got... Oh, God. You're really uh, me for my tattoo. <laughs> oh, you have one? Yeah. I didn't know that. What was it? Superman. Yeah, nice. When I was uh, about to be a cop, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do some good. I'm going to do some good in this room. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Cheers, everybody. Right, fuck these guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, man. Leonard's going to get a portrait of Christina Connellini on him. <laughs> Hey, no Christina Bass. I love how Lenny's demeanor changes every time Brad calls her a cunt. It's great. <laughs> oh, they're, they're thrilled to have you on here, Adam. You should read these comments. Oh, yeah, cool. Right. How do I just go on Instagram? Yeah, cool. I'm trying to find some good questions here. Yeah, skip over the nonsense. I appreciate your honesty, Adam. You weren't offended by any question? No. And you gave honest answers. Do, they, do a lot of the fans still hate me? Or they, do they come around? Are you or? kidding me? No, just the opposite. You, really? I, you, I mean, what, they hated you at one it, point? Oh, you're joking, right? In the beginning, everyone wanted me dead. I didn't pay it. <laughs> yeah. You're known as one of the most amazing men to provide. You're, the Adam Harper era is known as like the golden era of oh, Jesus. the Genova Ment, whatever you want to call it. You brought That's the Ments. Hilarious. Listen, you... Oh, he'll be calling videos. you now that, he's, that no, he sees no, you over here. Uh, you think so? Oh, yeah, he's, he's got nobody now. You think he's listening in? Yeah, he'll yeah. listen in. This isn't live, though. No. Jason, if you're listening well, in, apologize to them because you know these are your friends. No, he's, he's had never, his chance. Yeah, he's yeah, done. Right. He, he, listen, he had his chance. He won't to apologize. apologize anyway. No. He never does. He's in, he's got that in fucking millennial entitlement shit going on. And, and what if he did though? What if he did? What if he came by and said, gave you guys a big hug, said, "I'm sorry, I fucked up." He can't be trusted. You can't mm-hmm. be friends with somebody you can't fuck trust. Right. And and at the drop of a hat, we'll just stab you in the back for somebody else saying, "Oh, Jason, I'll give you a grand if you order 66 one of those guys." Oh, yeah, for sure. And that's what he did. Yeah. He ordered 66 J Masters when it's not for Jay a Masters, toy lightsaber, Adam. From a PJ. toy yeah. lightsaber. Because oh PJ was having beef with J Masters, Correct. so PJ asked Jason to fucking order 66. I mean. You give him a toy like so he did. And we told Jason yeah. about that Order 66 shit. We're like, just do it when it pertains to you, right? Not to anybody else. Right. Don't get in the middle of other people's shit. But he, he can't help himself. No. You know, he's an un, ungrateful, fucking disloyal piece of shit. No good deed goes unpunished with him. You know, we Brad and I have done so much shit behind the scenes to oh, try to I'm sure. set him up for success right. and discourage him from doing stupid shit. And it seems like the more you try to help him, the more he'll find ways to shit on you. Yeah. sabotage himself or sabotage you. And it, it's sad. You know, it is. It's really I, sad. When I saw, I can, I've overlooked so much shit Jason's done over the years because we, we have a history, but right. I'm telling you, when I watched that video he uploaded where he said a whole bunch of shit about me and Brad and why he needs to leave the Delray Misfits, I said, I said lines have been crossed right. and that's and it. There's that's no the first time he's ever done that probably too, right? Good luck, be well, and you know, yeah. enjoy going on stage at 20% and body fat at your next fucking show yeah. and, uh, <laughs> and embarrassing yourself right. and, fucking, and, p- and, and pissing sh- off the other competitors that actually work hard <laughs> right, right. they right. actually Done. work hard to get up there yeah. and he's there like a fucking ju- I've seen it even at the even at the Ruby play. there's people there that are serious they look yeah. at him like come on man like yeah. we're, we're really trying to do something here and this fucking right. guy makes a joke of it you know at least 
you know, you look like shit too, as far as the other well, competitors. <laughs> Not like, but I'm saying because of your stomach. But you actually get in the best shape that you physically can get into. He doesn't. He he fucking you know will eat McDonald's and act like a fucking asshole and not you know say and he takes to drugs. Be the star and the center of attention. Right. Yeah. yeah, you know. It's ridiculous. It's a big fucking joke to him. And to some people, that's yeah, not a fucking joke. But I say this. If Jason comes in ripped, we can apologize to him. I will. Why would, we take what him do, why would you apologize? apologize? What do we need to do? What? For what? We don't come in and ripped. We don't owe him an apology for not, for anything. We've done nothing but help that asshole. He's not going to come in ripped. It's impossible. Never. <laughs> it's impossible. No. No. You hear that, Jason? Like you said, it's only if somebody actually fucking lives with him right. 24-7. Monitors I've always said, yeah, I've said that. Jason, that's said. motivation. If you can't get ripped after hearing that yeah. he can't even lift never. properly he doesn't even know how to use most of the equipment in a fucking gym <sighs> come on harsh words it's a joke it's everybody knows it it's not a fucking secret he's exposed himself yeah, enough the last two years that's why people watch his videos to see him i understand he's yeah, making yeah. crank calls now online he's doing anything he can and playing video games too he told me he's could, could, could you imagine that people were trying to up, sleep no, and he's crank there's calling kids them. that make a ton of money doing that yeah, shit having people watch him and talk yeah. to him yeah. oh yeah but so Jason is doing that? Yeah, but he doesn't make any right. shit. They're not doing it. They know he's a scam artist. Even Chuck Basher does it, but he has somebody else play the game and he pretends like he's playing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah he's full of shit. It's a fucking joke. But more, there's so many stupid people on this planet, yeah. dude. You can get them to fucking donate for anything. It's ridiculous. All the scammers out there. But you see some of these YouTubers. My daughter was showing me one, one of them. I never heard of these fucking Pootie Pie or some shit. It's got like 60 million fucking <clears throat> subscribers. Jesus. There's a lot of cookie cutters out guy there. guy makes like 100,000 a fucking month. Or those, those, that asshole that went to China and filmed the suicide. Oh, thing. yeah. The that suicide make, forest. That kid makes like yeah. a million a fucking... I've, yes. I've never heard of that fucker. Forget Paul, something Paul. Logan Paul? Or, I think it's oh, yeah. Like Paul. Japan. Yeah, yeah whatever. Saying. But that guy was making, I think they said he like a million dollars a month. YouTube just demonetized mm -hmm. his account. Oh, his account? I thought that's like I, all across YouTube because Vitaly said he's not making money anymore. No, this, this particular guy, Logan Paul, yeah. I, I read an article that he did something else to another violation and YouTube temporarily demonetized his oh, account, shit. something like that. No, he, but all these he kids. He a movie too. Who, Logan Baywatch? Paul? He was in Baywatch, right? In the beginning of Baywatch? Terrible. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> I wouldn't even waste my time. <laughs> Don't What's your favorite it. movie of all time, Adam? Um, go something cliche like Star Scarface, probably? Yeah, I would agree with that. It's one of the best. Jaws. It was, it was good. good. You watch Scarface now, you laugh through the fucking movie because of how yeah. bad his accent is. And the funny shit, he says a lot of funny shit in yeah. that movie. He's fucking funny. Did you ever see The it's Wanderers? A comedy to me. That's a good movie. Wanderers. That sounds, yeah. um, that's like a 25 I recommend movie. everyone to go see The Wanderers on Netflix. It's not about the group of kids, the group of guys. Yeah, New York, 1965. They have that big fight at the end. Gangs. Very funny that's and very true was, to life. That's what year it was made, 65? No, it was it made in the place. 70s. Sounds like The Warriors, which is one Similar. of my favorite movies. Yeah, that was a good time. movie, too. Oh. The Warriors, yeah. 1979. Warriors, come, come out, out to play. play. Yeah. You'll hear Great. clips of it yeah. in fucking rap music and shit, I'm yeah. sure. They always sound like, yeah, they it's a cult classic. Yeah, yeah. But the, the amount of money these kids... And I have a friend whose daughter does... She just plays with fucking dolls. She's got, I don't know how many million subscribers makes fucking five grand a month at 12 years. One, guy, one kid opens Playing packages. Playing fucking toys. Opens toys. One kid just opens toys. Yes. That's what the kids watch. What toys going to be fucking opening believe that? next? That's what Jason will be doing next. <laughs> Actually, hey. Playing with toys. <laughs> He could open a. He could open a. Mean You're package. laughing. Watch. He should start a whole other channel with just playing with toys, and he'd probably do way better than he did with any. He could start out with or a daycare. Think of this, guys. He could be in a daycare. He could be running the daycare with like five kids. And yeah. Just, would you leave just, your kids in that daycare? Well, it's. it's, could it's you? I guess it's. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, kids go there. underprivileged children Diapers or something. Would be out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's no other option, and you know. Foster they, kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. They have like a, a camera in there, twenty four seven, <laughs> following him around. That'd be that'd be epic. <laughs> You could do that, Leonard, if you want to have kids. Just foster a kid or yeah. adopt a kid. Yeah, that's the way to go. You yeah. become like a big brother, you know? Yeah, yeah, kids, they do like attention. Every Haitian single mother that I was involved with, <laughs> to this day, their kids are in their one. 20s and 30s. A lot of kids call me dad. And they say because of you, how do they're they able say to get jobs because they speak like me. How do they say they dad? Say, they call, really? they call me and say Creole. thank you for that. Yeah, that's how awesome. How do they say dad Speaking in Creole? Speaking English. Big Lenny. Colchon. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was called that a few times. Who's it? Yeah. 
<laughs> so I said, what'd you say? What'd you say to me? <laughs> you ever slap one of their kids around? No. Good. Did you really make Jason pay you $10 every time he took off his shirt to pose? Me? Yeah. No. God, Jason never gave me a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking chance you'll ever get So you spent hours and hours with Jason without even a red cent. No, fuck no. If anything, I had more hate on my um, videos forever. They like, ruined my in YouTube channel. In the beginning. In the beginning. Loving for punishments. Uh, yeah, but like, no, in the end, I mean, they were just, I'd make a video and where's Jason? Where's Jason? I'd get a freaking thousand comments of that. Like, come on, people. I saw that on your on your Instagram where you put <laughs> and any, Instagram any, any Jason yeah, comment. Fucking had to, um, <laughs> you can't escape the piss. I've got like a thousand yeah. requests. I, I had to block it and delete a lot of people and I've got like a thousand pending right now. I'm like, I don't know. I, look, I scanned a few of them the other day. I'm like, no, 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 no. Br Brad and I are resigned to the fact that this whole thing will haunt us till the day oh, we yeah. die. 100%. There's no getting out. No. So we may as well just us. fucking For sure. swim neck deep in it. Just roll with it. Right. <laughs> Brad just put the big glass dick in his mouth. <laughs> this isn't very big, Leonard. Is that a Freudian slip? So you've had bigger. <laughs> gotcha. Well, this might be the size of yours now, all your shit. You know it's bigger than that, because you look down when, you, when I came to the door naked. Brad, your eyes drop like he an elevator. He does it on purpose. Like Every a, time I go to pick him up, he yeah. comes to the door butt-ass. Like yeah, an elevator that has a cable snap. Your eyes drop down so fast. That's hilarious. I think I would just text him and say, I'm outside. Come on out. <laughs> he's, got he got flip he's got a flip phone. He doesn't know how to text. No. Uh, the last time you were kind enough to put on your Calvin Klein's. <laughs> yeah, I'm a model now. I don't know if you know. There's an underwear model, and I'm gonna be such. I'm gonna be such a freak in six months. You're not gonna believe it. You should come to the Ruby if he is. It, is it in six months? Are you gonna do the Ruby this year? Of course. Oh yeah. yeah. This is in Boca, right? Uh, yeah, Olympic Heights. Cool. In September. Of course, Boston Lloyd. Uh, is afraid to compete against me as Dave Palumbo said he'll get a film crew documented Boston should be in my weight class a heavyweight no, no, good, and Boston so. chickened out saying he's got a baby on the way what does that have to do with it yeah. because what the famous Boston Leonard, Lloyd. I don't understand. And even Dave Palumbo said, it's the freaking Ruby. Every, every kid that I had, I didn't go to the gym for like six months. Oh, wow. You know? Yeah. Because they it's fucking, fun uh, time. you yeah. know. And you're just lazy to it in that span. Right. You yeah. just want to spend time with the kid. And then when you get home, the wife's like, oh, why don't you? Right. Right, now you're going to go to the gym? Yeah. I mean, you're probably just tired hour, from You can't go to a gym? But that's why I started going in the morning, because then I would just go while yeah. they're all sleeping. Right. So that I wouldn't have to hear any shit. Like, oh, you spend more time at the gym, yeah. you know? That's, that's hardcore to, because I value my sleep over the gym. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm in the morning. Rightfully yeah. so. Yeah. It goes sleep, food, and then gym. Yeah. And sleep, food. And then gear. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, probably gear first. Then. Like me, I was <laughs> Sleep, It's going to get you the best results <laughs> more than any sleep. Good <laughs> sleep, good fuck, good. That's right. Mm -hmm. Solibit Leonard. That's why you're such a bitchy fuck. True. <laughs> But that's probably why he's not, you know, he's planning on spending time with his kid rather than training Pete against you at a uh, fucking... Not when you get an Mickey, open invitation show. to make a documentary. Robert Frank like said his, uh, his buddy Joey Bag of Donuts is going to compete at the Ruby. Bring him on. <laughs> my weight class? I don't think so. It's like Dale. He couldn't even be in my weight class. Sure he what could. What is your weight class? Super heavy. It's over what, 230? Over 225. Oh. So how many people will you be competing against? I competed against one. He was a gentleman from the Air Force. We were both of us. We only you know, got super heavy, but they had it this year, so I got a trophy. So my <laughs> second, second place. Second place. Yeah, that's right. The podium. You could have won if he didn't show up. Imagine that. <laughs> That's such a quote. <laughs> yeah, what if is. nobody shows up? Yeah, like, uh -huh. Sometimes nobody shows up and you automatically win. <laughs> I remember when he said that. I was interviewing him outside the gym. That's, that was a classic one. Yeah. That was top ten, for sure. You ever miss it? Mm, sometimes. I mean, it was fun for a little bit, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it was fun, but... I would do it like once in a while, you know, but no, nah, I can't do it. We were doing it every damn day. It's too much. There's a lot. Yeah, it was Jason over my house every day, my wife pitching at him, Tucker being an asshole to him. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how much did Bree hate Jason? <sighs> Probably about a, it was too high. I, I mean, she, I, I just feel like she never really took into um, consideration that he is a little handicapped. So uh, she was probably about an eight and a half. <laughs> <laughs> She's got no which patience I, for the it, fucking stupidity. I don't blame her. I mean, her. yeah, I guess you can't blame her, but. Nah, <laughs> shit. I don't know. It's, it's, it can go either way, you know, because he is kind of challenged. 
start to feel a little, a little bit more towards him. But at the same time, he also kind of knows what he's doing. So right, like, you do uh, to a certain point. Right. That's the problem. Is that you, the, you know, you got to treat him like anybody else. I think I made a good decision at the end of the day. <laughs> Play the victim card. That's it. That's all it is. Make you feel sorry. <clears throat> and then they fuck the fucking iron pen hammer. <laughs> <laughs> what would you call him? A cyber pen <laughs> Cyber. He's a cyber pen handler. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's plenty of people out there that'll just fucking throw you money. Doing mm-hmm. nothing. Five buck here. Ten yeah. buck. Fifteen buck Fifteen shout buck. out. <laughs> well, you know, someone like this... Big fitness Rob guy comes out of the woodwork and doesn't know anything about anything, and within two weeks, said bye bye. Well, that's exactly I how I, I was when I came I in. Yeah, yeah sure. I was like, right. I'm thinking like, oh, cool, his fans, uh, like maybe, maybe they're gonna like me and hope that I'm, I'm, I'm motivated. I'm like this fucking guy, like, oh my god, that first video when I was in my army pants and yelling at him. I don't know if you remember that. Oh sure, uh, that was at the boot camp. Oh my god, they were like, it's a ball I like the video with you, me, PJ, and Aaron at your house. Yeah, that was funny too. I had a hundred and three fever that day. I don't know if you know, I was sick. Oh my god, no, dog. I did not. I'm laying in bed, I'm delirious, and I think you call me up. You're like, get over here, we're filming That's a video. Right, yeah. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I think I said, I was like, I'll give you 60 bucks or yes, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Come on over here. On my way, I'll be there. Listen. I didn't even know what planet I was on. I was so delirious. I had to. I was really sick, and I couldn't bring my fever down. That's right. Yeah. It was worth it. That was a great video. Yeah, it was. Good time. Oh, yeah. It's good. I didn't watch a lot. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, they're great. You did? You watched them all? Yeah, not all of them, but oh. those ones I remember. Yeah. yeah. You still you so you just train at the Planet Fitness. I'll do like three days. Planet no, at your, at your gym. Cross it. Yeah, I do like two days. A week. You still own it though, right? No, we sold it on. Uh, yeah. I'll never forget when a famous local trainer so at to World Gym shit. saw oh. you training Jason, and he looked at me and said, "Would you pay that guy to train you?" <laughs> I won't mention any names, but and I'm thinking, what the hell are you doing wrong? You know, it was, the guy was just jealous, but he actually said that. Where was this? At the Old World Gym. That's hilarious. I wish I could have trained him for an hour and I'd be like, all right, fuck this. I know, I said that, man. When I first saw this shit, I'll I was puke. like, cross. I'll divulge the name at the end of the podcast. I always said cross. Or I'll do it now. Want me to do it now? I'm not going to know who it is. Shit. Tim Anderson. Uh, I don't know who that is. The trainer. Well, Jim. He you said, would just you just say Tim. Why do you Would oh, you pay I'm him to train? Is that the guy that had the short shorts and jacked? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Blonde hair. Short. Yep. Yeah. 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 You have a lot. Yeah. When, if you actually do it, you're like, all right, why? This is fucking hard. This sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I go to Planet of Fitness now it's nice and easy you know I take a break between sets yeah when I leave that place I'm like decent. fuck this it's, it's smaller and it doesn't have heavy weight but you right. can get it oh yeah, yeah you there. just gotta There's super set so you gotta super set and yeah. go back and forth I've been doing machines are alright yeah better for your joints and you can get pizza on Mondays right Lenny mm-hmm. the first Monday of every month yeah <laughs> Yeah, that was my first day there. I'm like, fucking pizza? Jesus, man. They really don't want us to I succeed want to go here, there. do they? Yeah, I want to do that. There's, t- yeah, there's to Tootsie Rolls in the front and always. Rolls, and and March, I hate to say, is like a couple weeks from now, so it'll be coming up soon. All right. We sit right in the front of that table, oh my and God. I eat pizza and look look at every girl's crotch and ass <laughs> as they come in with the black tights. And if you come early enough... You'll see a lot. I get a lot of looks. And I'm they sure have you pe- do. They you have get a pizza lot- all day? They get, get about 20 uh, boxes. You get wow. a lot of looks of being petrified. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> one of the f- podcasts that we did, I don't know which one it was, but when I picked him up there, he grabbed the whole box as we were leaving. <laughs> <laughs> it's crap. What are they going to say? No, they didn't exactly. say shit. Yeah. Of course, there's Tootsie Rolls there, too. Yeah. And they mix that grape shit in there with them. I mean, <laughs> grape but Tootsie Rolls? Tootsie Rolls saved my life. I, Like I said, did a lot of insulin during my pre-contest prep. <laughs> Tootsie Rolls My blood life. sugar Rolls dropped so life. bad, I started to get in a break out in a oh, cold fuck. sweat. I hobbled over to where those Tootsie Rolls were. <laughs> I ate about 30. That. I mean, I almost died. Jesus. And that's probably one of the only times my blood sugar ever got that low. Wow. But they saved my life, as much as I made fun of it. <laughs> Could you imagine? He's like, on the ground with the Tootsie Rolls or just eating and throwing wrap on the ground. They <laughs> see what happens. Yeah. Or if you would have choked on a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. I want to stick 20 up Lucy's ass and I eat them out one by one. See, Adam doesn't know who any of these people I are. Don't. Lucy, Chuck Basher. We, every, time we, every time we refer to a name, we have to enlighten our guests. Lucy's about the hottest 10-10-10. You know what 10 is? Oh, yeah. A 10-10-10. Actually, I have the picture on my computer. I can show him. Remember? Yeah, he may become addicted, though. Is she a um, planet fitness? <laughs> I wish. No, she's a... She's from Alabama. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah, hot. I'm okay. You don't have to show me that. Pretty valet. <laughs> That's a yeah, Freudian it's... slip, Adam. You know you've seen it before. You know it turns you on. You don't like like it. Explain to him what a 10-10-10 ten, ten, ten is. It's a black girl with a 10, you know, cool, perfect 10 with a 10-inch, you know oh, what. Oh, yeah. A 10-10-10. Ten, ten, ten. Oh, that's just perfection right there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Not for freaky. Si- no, it doesn't. Right off the assembly line, right? <laughs> ten, ten, ten. And with today's technology, they're making rope. They're making sex robots now. You see that? Oh, sure, yeah. wow. absolutely. I think that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> Well, they are. Because they don't have a brain. They don't have a soul, you know? No shit. You're f- well, that's the idea. <laughs> will, they, will, they able to, will they be able to they blow talk, loads, they, Brad? They can't talk Will they be back. able to shit on you? <laughs> Piss on you? Is it t- technology there? Are they be able to spit on you? That's a good question. Huh? She's mm-hmm. always in the mood. Yeah, she's never going to say How's a robot going to take a dump? She never has a headache. She doesn't me. say no. Right. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. <laughs> What's robot shit look like, Brad? What the fuck should I know, you asshole? <laughs> Until they make so, one that could do all that, I'm not interested. Uh, <laughs> would you get one if it could shit on you and piss on you? And look like a 10? Yeah, a 10, 10, 10. If you could design your own robot. <laughs> sex. Sex yeah. robot. Sex robot. That's it, what it would be. It would be a 10, 10, 20. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Adam. I, I like that. Whoa. Mind blown. 20. I like how you said that. 20 inch cock. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Adam, before you go, let's have a cock pose down. Susan's oh. bigger. <laughs> Something tells me you're going to beat me. <laughs> Whoa, Adam, another Freudian slip. <laughs> because you're like a foot taller. Yeah, you're like six foot eight. <laughs> What's that have to do with it? <laughs> All right, fuck it, let's do it. Ape, apes have small Whoa, eyes, right? Freudian slip. Again. You're, you look like an ape. Nate looks like an ape and a pinworm. Oh, boy. <laughs> You know Nate, right? I know Nate, yeah. yeah. Pinworm Nate, he's called right at the moment. I don't know where that name came from, but... It came from you. Where do you think it came from? <laughs> <laughs> You're nasty. Nate always says, wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a Super Bowl. What the fuck did he say that? Wait. Oh, he said he had a couple of... Uh, he was the dinosaur, remember? He said something about a dinosaur. Oh, lizards being dinosaurs. And Shit. then he wanted us to point our cameras at each other on our cell phones. <laughs> He, th- he thought it would be like having two mirrors face each other and, you know, yeah. it'd be infinity. Like you're just seeing an image of an image of an image of an image. It's kind of worth a try, I guess. Didn't right? it didn't <laughs> quite work out the way he, <laughs> he thought it was going to. That's what he does for entertainment. <laughs> Are they eating shit out of Haitian's rectums for a living? <laughs> of course you would. That's what pinworms do. <laughs> Do you train people at that park where you live? Or no, you don't, you don't do any of that shit. Right? It, yeah. Just straight supplements. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Coth Adam's still in therapy after dealing with monkey prick. <laughs> <laughs> Coth Adam was Adam was the best Coth and got that piss sack into the best shape of his life. <laughs> piss sack. Piss sack. <laughs> Did. Piss sack. Does Adam regret the work he put in with Jason? Oh, that's a good question. Um. I mean, it was all for nothing. <laughs> if you look back, I mean, I think everything I tried to instill in him about, you know, working hard or could being a little lazy fuck, I think it all went out the window. So, I mean, I don't regret it because it's fun and, you know, it didn't cost me my marriage. So, thank God. It made, hopefully, if anything, it made me made it stronger. <laughs> I quit for you, babe. I quit Jason for you. Um, no, I don't regret it. It was fun. It's a good time. I wish I could have. I wish I could have helped him secede. I wanted him to secede. <laughs> fucking... Yeah, he seceded from the misfits. Secede. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, that's a piss sack. What he wants to do? Who gives a fuck? We're better I'll, off anyway. I'll it's accept you guys on Instagram, but no fucking Jason post, or I will delete you. It's very important. Whoa. <laughs> the minute you please. How please. many people have you blocked and deleted? Uh, I actually, my wife's best friend just de- started deleting everyone from me. But I don't know. There's like a thousand pending pen requests. Oh, you have somebody else run your shit? Well, no, because she's just like, why are these guys always posting on your stuff saying weird stuff? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I just because I haven't blocked anyone or I don't know how to block. I just don't. I never really used Instagram back then. I still don't really use it now. But she's like, yeah, you can just find you and like you because you don't have it, um, any restrictions. So she restricted it and blocked it all. Blocked That's it all. on Instagram or Facebook? Instagram, Facebook too. <laughs> Said, have you ever arrested people for steroids in your pig days? <laughs> <laughs> no, <But> no. <laughs> That's hilarious. Drunk driving, that was my thing. I led the the department in drunk driving arrests. It was fun. Uh, man, <laughs> I know, and I and I I've done it since. Yeah. Yeah, but did you ever have to pull your weapon on anybody? Yeah, but. You know, never came close to pulling the trigger. Mm-hmm. It was not a Detroit. We've been in Detroit race. No, because <laughs> you've been raised in the city. Um, a half mile outside of it. What? But it was it was a nine day difference. So. Yeah. When, when, I did, when did you move from there? Uh, 20, 21. Have you ever been with a black girl in your younger days? Yeah. 
one. You like that Brillo pad shit, I did huh? Like it. <laughs> I did. I did. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> She, she taught me a thing or two when wow. I was in college. Wow. <laughs> so your best ever. No, she was my best ever. You trying to get a fucking guy in trouble? <laughs> You're like a J <laughs> Masters. <laughs> one and done. One and done with the black girls. What's this one and done shit? Well, I kind of fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> what is Tan Tan without a Tan? I can say the three of us have always came back for more. That's yeah. rice yes. from when DJ was here the other night. Yeah, <laughs> Haitian right. Oh. Looks like a Haitian pinworm. <laughs> it actually does. We'll save it for Nate. <laughs> Man. We got an hour and a half, 90 minutes in. What time does your store close? <laughs> Don't you have to go to Winn-Dixie? Did you get a contact high again? <laughs> yeah, I did. I keep getting him every week. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> when I blow in his face, yeah. he can't help but When I get a in. contact drug test and they ask me, I can thank you for it. Uh, it'll be out of your system and fucking... The, the amount of water you drink, you could pass a pee yeah. test. If you smoke, you could probably pass I it. I got two days. a positive test on weed from taking hemp oil years ago. It stays in your system, I think, longer probably when you ingest right. it. Okay. Yeah. I don't smoke out of a bowl anymore. I get a pen. It's so much, so much better for your lungs. I was. It's. I mean, you ever. You ever I don't know. I prefer flour. Yeah. The pen bothers my throat. Actually. Oh really? I just bought a shit ton of edibles and brought them back from uh, from Vegas. Yeah. That's recreational. Yeah. We were there. Those are yeah. my go-to. Yeah. Except they just yeah. give me like fucking retarded. I can't even like yeah. speak. <laughs> I can't yeah, even yeah. string words together. <laughs> me, but Brad and I were there. Yeah. yeah. We didn't eat any edibles, but when I if I'm gonna eat an edible, I just have to have the whole day off. Oh yeah. I have to do shit. Yeah. Because if you eat one and right. you got shit to do, you're no. not getting it done. I made uh, my wife do one and we missed our flight because we couldn't even fucking <laughs> get up. It was like, God dang it. I should have fucking dropped $900 to fly back the next day. Like, what uh, hotel? Damn what, it. What hotel is that? Oh, cheap Monte Carlo. It was like fucking $90 an hour. Like, okay. yeah. That's like good. Yeah, and that's and good. it's not nice. bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, They're renovating actually. It's kind of, yeah. it's going to be nice right in a couple months. Yeah, it's a good right location. There, yeah. Yeah. They got deals like crazy, especially oh, now because it's the winter time. Right, fucking $90 a night. Can't turn that down. The flight was probably cheap too. Though. Yeah. Of course, I give it all right back. Don't, don't we all, you know? <laughs> Fuckers. You went on the, I saw you post, you went on a helicopter over there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a helicopter. And they just, the same helicopter line? Crashed. Yeah. Two days, two days, two days ago. Yeah. I was like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> two days before or after? Um, no, just well, a couple two days weeks ago. weeks after, but yeah, oh, just two days ago. I was like, she, same exact line, too. Like, you didn't see that wow. on the Fatalities? Three. Yep. Yeah. I think four and two survived. Uh, yeah. Four tours. Could you imagine? I mean, yeah. yeah, when you're up there, it's a little nerve-wracking a little bit. I couldn't even imagine. That. It's, scary. Windy. it's windy out it there. It is, yeah. That's the problem. You ripped the shred. Fuck that. <laughs> I've never been in a helicopter. I don't think you're going to want to go after you heard that, right? No, fuck no. <laughs> I go there once a year, too. Do you? Yeah. No, it's pretty cool. If I was going to do it again, I'd go all the way down. I didn't go down to the bottom. No. They, they you give you like a lunch. Over damage, yeah, I just flew over the. But going down to the bottom would have been cooler. It's fucking neat. Man. Yeah. You've never been that far west. No, but as far as the Hoover Dam goes, Dale Chance's first contest, he looked like he was holding more water than in the Hoover <laughs> Dam. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. You got to see it. We should bring you out there. You'd like it. There's plenty of trannies. We wouldn't see them the whole weekend. No. They'd just disappear. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't get five to sit on my face, sit on my hands, and pin me. And they do give me a Cleveland steamer, yeah. a five on one. They'll definitely do that. From tan, tan, tens. <laughs> Well, all you, have to move. Do, you just have to sit at a bar in a hotel that's at night. It. That's it. They'll come right up yeah. to you. Wow. You're a mark. I just have to go to Dixie Highway at night. They'll come up to you, too. <laughs> you promised a video with the maniacs. Let's bring out the, bring out the uh, Buick. Who's going to film this shit? we got to get a night vision camera. <laughs> <laughs> we can go somewhere and where it's, you know. you got to get permission, though, Leonard. Yeah, one will come around. A few that know me might still be up there. Most of your ex uh, Glade Central and... Uh, Pahokee football players turned apparently up there. Ninety percent of them. Ninety yes. percent, Leonard. Yes. Are you? Can you? Ninety percent. Well, how can you make such a fucking? I won't tell me that a lot of the Glade, though the Glades football, high school football players. But ninety fucking tranny. percent, you, Leonard. You can't. Ninety well, percent of the Don Dixie played football in the Glades for oh, the Pahokee. Oh, okay, yeah. that's right. different. All right. Yes. You, it sounded like you said ninety percent of the team became yeah. trans. I was going to say, what were you, the assistant coach? Maybe them at a young age. Was it Jerry? <laughs> Sandusky exactly. of Pahokee. He wishes. <laughs> but that was wild. Uh, one said she played defensive end. She's walking around in a thong bikini with a body like you would even see on South Beach. Outrageous. <laughs> Tall, like maybe 5'11", 150, 160. 
perfect body. You'll see those in South Beach, Leonard. Yeah, but not with a 10. Uh. Or no, you, may, you just may see, you know, nothing. There's trannies down there, too. I'm nothing sure. would surprise me. It's nothing like kissing a girl that's hot and then feeling something rub up against you real hard, like in a minute, a split second. Oh, man, yeah. That's, yeah, that's isn't that me going? Split yeah, second. I need to go rub one out in the bathroom yeah. now. Or she rub one's out in your mouth and you're looking at that gorgeous face, the face of a model. <laughs> And she gives you a nice protein drink. That's a oh, weird experience. All right, all right. You're he try, he the tries same. to sway everybody to like. Yes. Yeah. Shit. He wants somebody else. You're swayed. To... That's why you admitted it. You're swayed. Is it You've what, been swayed. What the fuck did I admit it? What are you, you talking about? Because it makes you feel uncomfortable about <laughs> no, it. That it turns you on. It's just a disgusting thought, man. Because I. Don't... It wouldn't be if, if you know what I, it's been the ones I've been with. It's not disgusting at all. Yeah. I don't care. I don't want to cock my mouth. I don't care what it's on. What is the matter with you? If it's coming with it's coming from a ten, you do. You're just going around in circles. Yeah. Uh, you're not gonna sell us on this shit. <laughs> sell me? What would I do that for? I you just want somebody on your side. You, you're dying to hear one of us admit that. I had everyone on my side. None of us fucking do, Leonard. I had the guys on uh, Iron Debate. Well, good for them. <laughs> <laughs> you old fucking creeps. Why don't you get a mesh t-shirt like Dorian Yates? <laughs> Why don't you you heard one? about that, right? On Iron Debate, they saw Dorian after he was done with the Olympia wearing a mesh t-shirt, putting his hands in the air when confetti came down from the ceiling at a club called the... Uh, Sound Factory in New York. I don't know if you ever you been there, Andrew. I know it, but shit. I've never been there. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Didn't I know that? It did seem. He's got a good memory. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, remember all that yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> How many times did you watch that video? About three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were looking for that part to find out where to go, huh? Even though nothing matters on your first night. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. You get all the coaching. You remember up your first me. time, Adam? Hey, it was terrible. Yeah. I didn't even. How old were you? I was seventeen. Where, where, where'd you do it at? Your uh, house? My car. Uh, <laughs> Scared to go home because parents are at both houses. Oh, <laughs> what about you, Andrew? Same age as Adam. 17. Me too. Home, car, subway. <laughs> Dixie, highway. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this country. Yeah? No, no kidding. Oh, huh? yeah. Amsterdam. No. Ruba. Bingo. Yeah? Wow. Yeah. The girl staying at the resort. Um, my buddy Octavio, who still lives down there. He set me up with a girl. She was performing in a show called the... It was the Americana Hotel. It was like this cabaret show. And he took me to the show. He's like, do you like that girl? I'm like, fuck yeah. He goes, I'm going to set you up with her. And I thought he was full of shit. What the fuck? A few hours later, I was flying home the next morning. So we had to do it real quick. Oh, my smash. God. That's Bradford. a real smash and dash yeah. right there. Jesus. Brad, first time? 17. Why are you holding <laughs> Where? Like he's interviewing Where, you. when, why, how, and with who? A girl that I was dating in high school. and I think Dating? I fucked her in her sister's room. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Liberty Avenue, downtown Pittsburgh, outside, right at night, right in front of the federal building with a, a tan streetwalker. It was great. Without a, t without a 10. She was about a 7 without a 10, yeah. Wait, that was your first? That was my first. How much? 17. How much? 10. $10. So it was a 10. $10? It was a 10, 10. 10 bucks to get laid? Pretty good. 1980. Seven. So how Still, old were you then? That's yeah. probably like 90 bucks now. <laughs> Ten bucks. Awesome head. <laughs> Right behind a big wall. He went for Freda building. Was so, that was that before or after you started jerking off in front of the girls? <laughs> after. After. But that was great. It's if I could stores. go back in time. He was well, you know, it was pretty much sheltered. Oh, yeah. And we had girls at the time. They called either freaks or jocks. Freaks <laughs> like the, you know, heavy metal music. The girls maybe like Bon Jerry or some shit like that. And a girl's mother worked on a weekend. She had invited 20 girls over to her house. I was about 15. And, I, you know, I could never leave the house alone. But I told my mother I'm going to this person's house for a school program project which it was technically and i'm the only guy sitting all of a sudden 20 girls and now they're blow sucking on bananas show me their blowjob technique and i'm sitting there, they said let's see your dick i got i was so fun i was nervous but just hot girls and it was turning me on <laughs> i pulled my pants on and said jacket i was like going like this for 20 girls just sitting there staring oh my god it's fucking great <laughs> Busted a nut like seven, seven jolts. <laughs> it was a f swimming in it. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then they Did were you like, bust a nut on any of them or yourself? 
they scream. Ah! <laughs> a couple got on and they were screaming, but it's probably some of the first times they've ever saw it live too. What a fucking nightmare! I think I remember the girl, a young Lenny. She told me, uh, twenty girls. <laughs> she told me if you tell anybody, she, they're gonna cut my dick off. So then, you know, the word got I doubt, around. I, yeah, I doubt twenty girls could and keep I was, anything quiet. And there was where people used to skip class was behind the stairs. They actually smoked cigarettes in the stairwells, and I and uh, I do it behind there. You know, I'd skip class too and jerk off while girls watch me. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. That's hilarious. I can I can honestly say I never knew anybody that did that. Yeah, I was a go-to guy. A girl wanted to see it, I'd do it. That's it. Gladly. Skip fifth hour, big Lenny's jerking off under the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, That's Brittany, fun. hey, whatever. Let's go watch Leonard I mean, jerk some off. of these girls... Let's go watch that fat retard jerk I mean, off under the have, stairs. You didn't have porn like that back then. You might have had a VHS tape you had to sneak, but for a girl, some of them wouldn't even blink their eye the whole five or I ten mean, minutes guy, I do it. They wouldn't even blink. So were the guys all jealous of you in school? Or, I mean, obviously yeah, they, they, I told a few of them, and <laughs> you know they couldn't believe it. They, they didn't have the balls to do it. You know, they didn't, just didn't have the balls. They didn't want, you know... Yeah. They just stand around and watch you jerk. You, you didn't <laughs> ask any of them to suck your dick or anything? No. Why not? Or at least... It's like, yeah, hey, yeah, come right, right, I'm out with this. this. Yeah. I should have yeah. come to think of it, yeah. but I, you know, at the time, hey, what, what do you know, you know? <laughs> this, you're not lying, neither are you. This, I never lie. All right. <laughs> uh, it's good. Hey, whatever. I float your boat, right? That's what Boston Lloyd said. I think you it's... didn't. You didn't get in any trouble, right? No. You never got caught doing that shit. That's good. Well, I got caught it. grabbing ass and stuff, and well, the principal. A lot of parents wanted to. I mean, to be put with, on charges of sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> they brought my father in with the superintendent because there's multiple girls I that imagine. grabbed their ass. And you know what he told me, uh-huh. I'll never forget. He goes, he goes, if you want to do that shit, he goes, move to California. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> so it's legal over there. Man. That's pretty fucking funny. That is funny. Yeah, you kicked out of the fight back in our shit. <laughs> so what happened after that? You just behaved yourself? No, I ended up moving to Florida, but it was, it was getting worse after that. Like We had a lot of preteen girls. That would, my grandmother had a garage, and girls would be walking by, and I had the weights in there. And a couple of guys would lift. This was, I was 19, I wasn't working, I just lived with my grandmother's, and I'd expose myself in front of younger girls, which I'm not proud of, but they'd all come and sit in the garage and, you know, so pull my pants down. What the fuck? <laughs> what is, like everybody, I like all, to the, see the, all the girls in this town know that they can get you to take your fucking pants off and play with yourself? Yeah, I always like what? to see the look on their face. Jesus Christ. But luckily I moved to Florida. If you, like, guys you, need, escaped all- if you guys need a babysitter, he works for free. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he's not going to ask you to babysit. <laughs> I might have to. <laughs> you sick fun. I think the piss sack might need a babysitter. <laughs> I like that name. That is good. The piss sack. That's his new name. The piss sack. As opposed to a sack of shit. A yeah. Sack of, a sack of piss. Are you guys getting any flack about it? Any of his fans? They, they're not, they, know, about they, it. they know, right? They have to. Does he have any the, fans the long left? Time, the long yeah. time. Followers and fans, they know the deal. They yeah. know it's but really like, shit's few, a long time there. coming anyway, man. I've responded to a few messages about yeah. it. And, well, it's, it is what it is. Yeah. Fucking guy, you, you know, he'll never learn. No matter how much you help the fucking idiot, he's got to sabotage shit. That's just what he does. Every touch just turns to shit. In the apartment condo? Yeah, same place. And they say, oh, it's because of him. No, it's because of Andrew. Right. Because if it wasn't for Andrew filming and uploading all that shit oh, to YouTube, just there'd be, be, uh, none of us would be on this shit. Yeah. So that's it, that's another misconception. It's a two-way street. Yeah. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Brad. For what? <laughs> I'm going to get an axe on my bicycle. Why? For being so stoned. Oh. <laughs> You're secondhand. You're fucking yeah. lightweight. You can't blame me tonight. Being a shit. <laughs> what can I say? It's good, right? Not really. You and I need to switch places. That way he won't be blowing the smoke into your face. We'll be blowing it into mine. It's yeah. the best. <laughs> of course, I know we'll be blowing his farts over there, too. <laughs> no, I don't have gas right now. You're lucky. <laughs> is that a Freudian I always slip? joke at him. By the time the podcast is done, this whole dining room always stinks like feet. Because all four feet of us are ass. sitting here right. with, with no shoes on. We and take our shoes off. Yeah, my yeah. sandals always stink. <laughs> Our mother had cats when I'd take my shoes off. Cat would sniff that shoe for like half an hour. You couldn't get away from it, which is weird. <laughs> yes. So, you know, dogs will chew up your shoes and their puppy. Better than that. That's shit. Think of any good stories to tell? Oh, shit. Um, 
One good one for the end of the night. Any female p- girls in boot camp ever fart? No. I was always the one that was fucking fart farting and never <laughs> I'd always fart like, damn it, Adam. Any, gr- any, gr- any girls farting in boot camp? I didn't notice any. Luckily, it was outdoors. <laughs> Thoughts on removing Jason's internet privileges legally? I think it's actually I, not a bad idea. I think at his all. mother should have done that years yeah. ago. Some other fan fan's just gonna take care of him, you know, send yeah. him a phone or yeah, exactly. That's exactly right. That's, yeah, that's Someone would send him a new phone. Yeah. And I can't think of a story. What the fuck? I mean, I feel like everything was. You probably block it out intentionally. Yeah, yeah. or Brad smoke. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where the hell I am. Bullshit, Leonard. There's no way you could be that high off of a fucking contact. <laughs> That happened to me in Vegas. Yeah. I don't know where okay. When you all went out and I met you later, like 11 o'clock. Oh, uh, yeah. When, yeah. Holy shit. From an edible? Or? He had a house call. Oh, oh. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> no, we, got pre, we just got pre-rolled joints from the... Because we were down by the stratosphere. They had a dispensary right oh, there. Nice. The right there. Right. So, oh, fuck. I'm to get an Uber. Adam, I just have to ask this question yep. before we go. You've never been shit on? No. No. Okay. No, I can't say I have. Well, have I, you ever been asked if you've been shit on? <laughs> no, man, that's the first thing. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck? To me, is Lenny. Why, what? To it's a guest in Dan my home. He's asking if he's been shit, shit on. Every interview, that should, that should be a standard question. Thanks You're going to ask Colombo. everybody that comes on here. Yeah, oh, that's right. He asked you, you if you've been Donald shit on. You think Donald Trump's ever been shit on? Yes. Yep. He's that type of guy that would probably... <laughs> Rich <laughs> guys have been done so much. Powerful men, too. I'm Donald Trump's been with many trannies. I know they have because when you're rich, you're always looking for some new stimulation. I could see him fucking a guy up the ass. Like, his son-in-law wouldn't surprise me. Kushner? Yeah. Oh, my God. Wouldn't surprise me. I think the more powerful a man is in public or at his job, if he's a CEO, the more submissive he is behind closed doors. And he likes to be degraded. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wants to be put in his place. I was told that, but a tan told me that she goes to D.C. and makes 10 grand in a week. From politicians that do the I believe it. Yeah, stuff. hell yeah. yeah. They're sick motherfuckers, most mm-hmm. of them. Nothing to do, all that money. Why don't you do that? Yeah, that's like that fucking, these, these women like that stupid, what the fuck is it, Grey? Fifty Shades of Grey, yeah. yeah. Oh, God. She was watching it the other night because the new one's here. Yeah, because huh. the new one's coming out. And, and I'm like, she's watching for yeah. a few minutes. I said, if this guy lived in the trailer park, he'd be in fucking yeah, jail for, for having sure. that shit. Yeah, for sure, 100%. It's just because yeah. he's a fucking right, billionaire. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. Get fuck out of here with that crap. But I don't mind her reading it because it usually gets yeah, really yeah. horny. Yeah, so. yeah it, gets, it gets gets some nice and moist. I guess where um, I lied and said I was going tonight because you know, if I told her, because if I said anything Jason related, she'd be like, where the fuck are you going? You know, I'm at the gym right now. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, so I got to go here soon because that's okay, been a long we'll workout. Okay, we'll wrap it up in a few minutes. All right. And once I, once I tell the truth, you're going to have to go outside. Are you going to tell her? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's about the point. Come on, not, Adam. Who I'm runs like, the show in your house? Well, the trolls, are, the trolls are going to mess, <laughs> yeah. message you. You know what's going to yeah. happen now, right? Yeah. You know where Adam was the other night? Yeah. Don't worry, Mr. Podcast. I'm like, sweating, you know. Like, yeah, I can't say I was at the gym for an hour and 45 minutes, no sweat. I can spray you with the garden hose outside. It does smell like shit because it's a fucking sprinkler. Sulfur, yeah. Water. That's right. She'll get over it. The Olympics is still on. Right? Do you really watch the Olympics? Here? I've never heard of it. For sure. yeah. It. I was watching that figure skating. Watching that too. Just fucking spin around. That and one girl did the triple axel, the third girl in history to do that. That's pretty good. It's nuts. In the US when team. they were doing the couples thing, I was just waiting for the guy to like slice thought, her head off. I thought they were. That, that happened once. No, they're the fucking wo- so close, man. A woman's head once got shot. lacerated. I think. Yeah, right. So what would happen if you just cut one's throat? And well, fucking blood. Did you ever see everywhere. when that happened to the hockey goalie yeah. in the NHL? Almost blood to death. Oh no shit. Yeah, the the skate cut his arteries. Blood sprang out all over the ice. Didn't see that. See, I'd watch a video. That happened like that. in the '80s. You see, there's about ten or twelve soccer deaths on the internet. Oh, sure. Deaths. I yeah. mean, knees Seriously. to the head God. during the game. Yes, guys knocked on me just literally landing. I think lightning strikes too during soccer games too. Yeah, that's deaths. the most deadly sport. Mm-hmm. Get the what fuck the out. Fuck? Yeah, look online. What about rugby? Surely rugby's had. Probably is, but I know soccer for a fact. See guys sprawled out dead. You mean as far as deaths on the field? Right. Right, run the field. Huh. Knees to the temple. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna doubt you. I'll look. I'll Google it. Google the YNC. You ever no, look at that I'm gore? Not, I'm not fucking looking at that uh, shit. No, thank you. 
That's a rough site. It's, it is. You'll see these sick fucks like to watch that. You'll see shit. shit on that website that'll keep you up at night. Yeah, that's you, not. You can't. That's not you for can't. Me. It's, like, it's like here. This tastes like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. The fuck do I want to try it for? It tastes people like shit. People getting beat over hearsay in a village. Twenty people beating them with sticks. To no death. trial. No trial. Nothing. Prisoners in Brazil. That's a nasty place. You definitely don't makes. Be it definitely Brazil. makes you. I'm sure getting makes you stab before you live here. Yeah. For no sure. shit. One guy a broom shoved up his ass. I mean, all they had was stuck. They had to pull it out. Oh my god. Yeah, that's just what we want to yeah, watch. <laughs> and on that note, I think I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, call I think I gotta. I gotta. Leonard, head do you want to appreciate this? Okay? You want to have a good anytime. time? Yeah. Thank you. Everyone want to come? Yeah. Yeah, it was very entertaining. You're very articulate. You're, you're incredible behind the mic. Well, thank you. And hopefully, <laughs> when we do this for a living, you could be a part of it. Man, that'd be awesome. I just I think we're about to take off you know, as far as mainstream. Be great. You can't talk about one thing. You have to, we talk a little about everything. All right. Sex, politics, relationships, you name it. Drug use. It's definitely entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> But no cookie cutter topic. I'm not going to talk about rap music or some crap like that, you know. Real honest to goodness topics other people don't want to touch. And I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, I appreciate you guys letting me out here. This is a good time. Yeah, man, it's a long time. Yeah, we we should have done it. Very good. Very nice. You want to you you sing us a song going out, Leonard? You have a song for Christina tonight? Uh, thanks to you, I, I can't even think. Blowing that smoke at me. I had These one. artists I are all more creative when they're was it really the that best, good shit. I wish you blew it in my face. The best music was created on people that are on drugs. Yeah. And you're on a ton of them right now. With all the shit that you... Uh, today's your first day of poking yourself, right? You take your full stack today? Look at you. Poking my... Well, uh, I've, this is actually my second week, so it's starting to kick in. I took three cc's of T400 in the left delt. I took ten... 10 micrograms of IGF-1 in the right tricep. Tomorrow in the right delt, I'm going to take 450 milligrams of equipoise and 450 milligrams of DECA. Holy I'm shit. doing GH, three I use twice a day, and I went up to Umlin R, twice a day, 20 I use. First one, 30 minutes after my GH in the morning, and second one, 15 minutes before my workout ended. Wow. Oh, and by the way, three 50 milligrams of methandrostenolone. <laughs> Three times a day, 50 milligrams. It's a human pin cushion. And I'll be the human freak real soon. 340 with Ains. You already got that Ains. title, pal. 340? 340 Holy with Ains. Yeah, I'm in a fucking heart attack in a God coffin. God dang. He's trying to kill himself. That's, That's what he's crazy. doing. I'm trying to... I wanted Christina to carry me into heaven, which she will. See? He's trying to kill himself. There you uh, have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> enjoy him while he's here. Yeah. If not, you can enjoy me in eternity. <laughs> Whatever. Because, Adam, if this is all we got, this sucks. That's all I can say. If life is all we have, that sucks. I'm afraid that you feel that way. I love it. I love life. <laughs> it sucks, Leonard. Adam, take him to Norway with you. Let's do it. Yeah, what are, you doing, what are you doing? What are you doing? during the day. What are you doing in Norway? Man, I, I'm dreading it. We're not even really doing anything. It's the Northern Lights is the time to see Northern Lights. What it's made you pick cool. Norway of all places? It was free flights for children. For like, we had one week to plan, not even like two days, and then the free flight was really weird. No, what nationality are you? You look Norwegian. No, I'm um, English. Like Brad. Oh, you're a Nazi. You do look like a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> now he looks Blonde like a Nazi. Hair, First he looked what? Now Norwegian, now he looks like a Nazi. Same thing. Okay. Blonde hair, blue eye. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just going for a quick week vacation? Yeah. Right? Oh, it's not, yeah. It's How long is that flight? It's nine, nine and a half hours. Yeah. You got straight through back and forth? Yeah, a lot of tall blondes over there? I don't know. I've never... Uh, so you have a connecting Iceland. flight or straight to Yeah, Oslo. Oh, I should have done Iceland. 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 Yeah, yes. I heard that's like place to go. Yeah, I heard yeah, that's I heard cool. Mm -hmm. We're out there fucking aware. It's still going to be pretty nice. No more away. <laughs> that'll, be, that'll be a change from, from Detroit, South Florida. Yeah. Gee. It's true. I didn't look at it that way. <laughs> What's the language in Norway? Um, Norwegian, right? Yeah, right, yeah. I'm sure most of them speak English, right? I hope so. <laughs> Much attempt trying to learn how their language is. In 20 years, we'll be translated. speaking Creole if we stay in South Florida, trust me. <laughs> That's probably right. Sounds about right. Too old to learn another language. Yeah. I couldn't imagine even trying no. to. It's too much pain in ass. Okay. All right. Say goodnight. <laughs> good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, Christina. And Andrew Calor will be coming next month on your birthday. Is he definitely coming? He's coming and... We're going to have to do a little GoFundMe, but I'll provide the details in the following weeks. A GoFundMe, Leonard? Yeah. Also, like I said, the maniacs that GoFunded me, I'm going to unveil the cleaning of my apartment by the time he comes down. So Really? So now we're, we're going to fucking hold you to that. We're going to have, Chris, we're gonna have a Christina Broccolini what is birthday today? party. Today's the, that's less than a month, Leonard. Yeah, we're going to have a Christina Broccolini time. birthday party. I'm getting a cake. 
So <gasps> that's March 9th, remember. Minute. Who are we going to sing to? The goddess, Christina. So we'll do a birthday podcast for Christina? Yes. And Andrew's <laughs> coming down for it. So he'll provide the details on the phone. Not much. Just everybody sends where you send a dollar. You know, it's good. For, you know, it's doable. And where's that so, money going? To the mints. <laughs> Many mints. All right. There you go. It's so funny to hear Lenny. I'll provide the details that. later. All right. We're done. Uh, we're out. Thanks. Thank you, Adam. Thanks, guys.